Yes, yes, people, we are back live. We are back live on the Sarcasm City TV YouTube for another Sarcasm City Sports Q&A. For those that haven't seen the Sarcasm City Sports Q&A before, it's where myself and the rest of the panellists who will be joining answer all of your sporting questions. So that's right, all of your sporting questions. So it can be football, it can be basketball, it can be boxing, NFL, F1, UFC, whatever you want to ask about. So please get your questions in the comment section. I'm sure the majority of them are going to be on Graham Potter being sacked by Chelsea. So Graham Potter has now been sacked by Chelsea Football Club. Julian Nangelsman is the favourite to take over the job. Whether that happens or not, we will soon see. Brendan Rodgers as well. Brendan Rodgers as well. He has been sacked by Leicester City. And the Joshua beat Jermaine Franklin um, on Saturday night as well. So I'm sure there'll be some boxing questions as well. But with the Sarcasm City Sports Q&As, if you are a member of the channel, your, your comments, your questions take priority like a super chat. Link for the membership is in the pinned comment, people. Link for the membership is in the pinned comment. Let's bump up the likes as well. Big up to my guy, Lewis, for the raid as well. There's over 90 of you lot in the building, people. Over 90 of you lot in the building. So make sure you hit the like button. How many likes? We're only on 20 likes. Not good enough. Let's get up to 50 likes, people. Let's get up to 50 likes. Yes, Victor, I'm going to check the group chat right now as we speak. So, yeah, man, let's bump up the likes. Let's get up to 50 likes. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's make sure we do that. Hit that share button as well. Please share this across all the socials as well, all the social media apps you are active on. And just on top of that, well, on top of all of that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Sarcasm City TV is rolled to 7K. We recently just went past 6K. Rolled to 7K. We're at 6,132. We're looking for free new subscribers. Free new subscribers. Hit the subscribe button. And like I said, get your questions in, people. Get your questions in. Oh, shit. Did I not drop the link? Mazo. My bad, you, man. I thought I dropped the link. Didn't drop the link. Yeah, I dropped it now. The link's in the chat. My bad. My bad, you, man. I was saying. Uh, let's see what's going on. Mozzie said, put a gun. Luke Watts says it's pot o'clock. Malcolm says big up the man and forget United. WrestleMania is upon us. Stephanie says big up flawless. Big up to Stephanie G every single time. Football CFC Candy says think the, think the key is for me that Bowie isn't this, isn't deciding the manager this time. It's Christopher Vivell, the sporting director as well. Demo's in the building, so I'm sure the Chelsea lot will have a lot to say. Steve says big up. Bobby says, uh, big up flawless. Rowett says, big up flawless and everyone else. You should bring in Ranson and Sam. That would be absolute gold. Hey, man, like, it's just getting people on. Everyone's busy. That's all it is. But shout out to my guy, Ranson. Shout out to my Sam every single time as well. Victor's in the building as well. Um, yeah, time to shine. We here. Win, lose, or draw. Let's get it. 100%. All of the time. King Manny says, big up flawless. Big up to our lamb as well. Says, big up the guy. Shout out the panel and the chat. Uh, Potter out buzzing and what did you make of AJ I thought he would take him out in four but he bucks well and he has he has he, he what he has looked better white next um he did what he was supposed to do because if he would have lost that bout everyone would have been ridiculing him and criticizing him and saying he needs to retire well not everyone a lot of people and saying he's done at the, the highest level so what he did no what's it called in it like I don't know what people are complaining about in regards to him taking him out in four, I said it when I did the recap on Twitch, Big Fights, Big Nights Only podcast. Um, Andy Joshua doesn't fight like that anymore. That's how, the, how we seen him approach Jermaine Franklin. That's his style. That doesn't mean he can't be aggressive. That doesn't mean he can't get any knockouts. That doesn't mean he can't go in there and get early knockouts. Um, but that's just his style. And I wouldn't say he's scared to throw punches. He's just much more measured. I wouldn't say he wouldn't about. So he threw enough punches and he won comfortably. That's what it is. There's nothing he could do in that against Jermaine Franklin that made me go, yeah, he can go on and beat Fury or he can beat Usyk if they fight a third time or he can beat Wilder. Like, no, he's not on their level. That's not a shot. I don't think there's anybody else in the heavyweight division that is on the level of those three that I just named, including him. So what more could he do to me? That's just me. Well, like I said, Timo's in the building. Victor's in the building. Jez is in the building. We'll go to you first, Timo. Are you telling me you good? Yeah, I'm good. All blessed and happy Monday as well, guys. And yes, I think it's over a week now of Ramadan. So big up, guys, and always still stay tough till till the end. Hundred percent, hundred percent, Victor. What are you saying, man? You good? I'm fucking great, man. I'm happy as hell. We're gonna get into that. We're gonna get into Graham Potter being sacked. Uh, Jez, what are you telling me? You blessed? 
Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Calm, calm. Hey, you lot, over 110 of you lot in the building. I'm only at 25 likes. What is going on? Bump up the likes. What is happening? That is horrific. What is this Bruno Fernandez pass completion rate? What is going on, man? Bump up the likes, people. Only 25 and there's over 110 of you lot in the building. Hit the like button. What's going on, man? 50 likes. Let's double that expeditiously. Let's do so. Uh, we'll go to you first, Victor. Thoughts on getting your wish? Graham Potter sacked. Uh, we finally won the battle, guys. We're, we're finally out of the trenches. He's gone. I'm happy as hell. The, the boy finally did the right thing. And he finally owned up and said, listen, I can't do this anymore. It's too much pressure. And then he fucked off. Honestly, I'm the happiest man. I'm probably the happiest man. Okay, but I, I finally, I finally have my joy back, man. I finally can enjoy football. I know, yeah, the rest of the season just vibes. We're not winning anything. We're not doing anything. But I know that I, I can't get angry anymore because I know this guy's not going to be here long term. Like, whoever, like, he's, a, he's the interim assistant manager. Like, no one gives a shit. Like, we know you're not here long term. So, whatever happens, happens. But I'm happy that we're looking. The, the manager's looking at as well. Very exciting. Um, they've worked to big jobs before. And it's great, man. I'm happy as hell. Yeah, <sighs> Fucking, I can't, I can't shout that much because it's night time. I can't shout I'm not, I'm not surprised by this. Timo, your thoughts on it? Obviously, we was on stream together. You know what I'm yeah. saying? When the news broke and Timo literally, some big six band screamed. You know what I'm saying? Like, he won the lottery. <laughs> Screamed literally, you can go check that out. Big up to months and the whole big six. Hey, bands I, I screamed as well. I can't wait. You do you scream as well? Thoughts, Timo. I'm, I'm not surprised Peter. actually with the decision. Mm -hmm. And it's not only the results, um, based issue that, that the sacking is taking place. And I just think that there is a problem within the squad that you've got 31st players in, the, in your team right now, and every match on a consistent basis, you have to tell at least 20 players in your team like they're not starting. I think that's not a very healthy environment. I think he should, he should have gone like months ago, in my opinion. And the, the problem is, is that how can you train properly when you're starting 11, then you go another 30 plus, get 30 plus players to keep motivated and more engaged, even though they were not involved. And it's a it's an unhealthy environment at the end of the day. And and I just think this will rectify it's only going to rectify half of it that that Bowie's decision has made. But if we if we get another right appointment after Potter, then we're going to be seeing something special as well for this team. Uh, so cool. it's, it's lots of Enrique, lots of um, mm -hmm. Nagelsmann, Hansi Flick, whoever literally can get the best out of this team. And I just uh, think with the previous manager, I think that it will more... We will be more suited for the project club like Tottenham or Leicester City, in my opinion. So, yeah, man. Hopefully, next Chelsea manager. manager I don't know because it, it, it's a tough list, honestly. It's a tough list. But the red flag for me is that I, I will not take Brendan Rodgers in this team. No, fair's no Brendan Rodgers. Before we get to Surfer and his thoughts on it, yo, over 120 of you lot in here. That 34 likes. What's going on, man? That 34 likes. What is happening, man? 50 likes. Let's bump up the likes. I know you lot are happy, but let's bump up the likes. What are we doing, man? Like, check, one, two, one, two. I've already hit the subscriber mark as well as 6,135. Five more we're looking for. Get us to 6,140 people. 6,140. Surfer, your thoughts on it? Because we actually haven't spoken on it. So Graham Potter sacked. Man's on camera for this one, you know. <laughs> <laughs> ah man, do you know what that news has done for me, Flawless? Go on. I'm about to watch WrestleMania. I, I'm mm. even looking forward to the Lesnar Omos match. I, I that's how much is this news already? is. Oh shit. That's how much this news is like um mm. done for me. I his assistant has gone now, which is good. Um I need it with the I listen, I need it, I need them all gone now. That's the problem. I, the problem I still have is that some of the coaching staff are still there and they're to blame for us being in this position as well. Mm -hmm. It's like the Tottenham situation where they've kept Stellini in charge. It's still a problem because Stellini was still coaching the guys there. So the whole ethos and I, 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 maybe it's going to change or not, but I expect them to bring a manager in before the end of the season. I don't expect them to wait till the end. I think Nagelsmann will be the guy that comes in. I've got reservations over Nagelsmann because 
I just have. His age worries me a lot. But over Potter as well, he had to go, bro. Untenable. Again, coming out yesterday with the guys played well, which they did. They played well, but I, you, you don't want to hear that as a fan base. Mm-hmm. You do not want to hear that as a fan base after losing 2-0 at home. You want to hear it's not good enough. We're going to make sure we get better going on. Hey, Man's no got more, a, no more, got, no more, Andrew, no more fan can interruption. Like yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, he's got <laughs> 31, he's got a 31% win rate. This is not good enough. It's worse than AVBs, I think. So when you get oh, worse than AVBs, it's fucking up. When you get worse than AVB as a Chelsea manager, you are literally the worst Chelsea manager in history. You are. So I'm glad he's out. I'm enjoying Potter Independence Day. I'm going to make sure it spreads for a week. Um, and even on Tuesday now, think about it now. The atmosphere is going to be, fat is going to the game. The atmosphere is going to be different Tuesday now. 100%, yeah. It's less toxic. <laughs> less toxic. Yeah. The game doesn't really matter because of the position both clubs are in. Mm-hmm. So it's like, do you know what I mean? The but it's going to be, be less different. toxic, mm-hmm. less chance of infighting, because he's gone. Mm-hmm. He needed to go. And I'm and this, this I believe, has been pushed by Vivelle and the infrastructure there. Okay. Um, I've got to be honest with you, if they were in there this summer, Potter wouldn't even be on the list to be approached as a new Chelsea manager. We might not even sack Tuchel. But what I'm saying is, he wouldn't be on the list. He just wouldn't be. The guys would not, Vivelle and that would not pick this guy on the list. Anyone, um, but yeah, I'm just glad. I, I, want say, in, just... I want a manager in now. Talk about to, it. Uh, to get to, to start to heal mm. and to start to, um, to uh, well, to take away the damage because there's loads of damage caused. Okay, we've got Talk no about. style of play, we've got no style of play. I don't know what the style of play is, I don't know what how good the players are, you know, stuff like that. Who's staying, who's going, that needs sorting. And yeah, but whoever comes in, they to me are are in a no lose situation because of the way the, the season's going. And I believe they sacked him as well because whatever you say, we're not going to win the Champions League. But there, there's we've won the Champions League in crazy in crazy situations. So mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Our two Champions League wins have been in crazy situations. Our league form has been absolutely shocking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so while well, it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity. That, but I think they're going to get a manager in before the Real Madrid tie, if I'm honest with you. It just doesn't make sense to go with this Bruno guy. To the you know what I mean? Who's the Bruno does, guy? He's the, he was the former Brighton player there. And he added oh. Not no, fair, yeah. fair. Uh Ahmed, over to you. Graham Pass sacked by Chelsea Football Club, your beloved Chelsea Football Club. Thoughts? No... Um, I was expected. Um, I was. I wanted him to be honestly gone after Southampton. After the Southampton game, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. obviously, you know, he gave himself a few extra games with the Dortmund, Taiwan, and then I think it was um the other two games that he won, Leeds and another team who escapes me. Um, at the end of the day, you know, he wasn't good enough, man. Like there was no style of play. There was nothing. You know, you're not hearing stuff like you know. Uh, about the players were alarmed by Ziyech starting. Um, the fact hey, where's, that it, where's the BB, man? Go on, sorry, carry on. Big up to him. Um, and there was another... <laughs> hey, big, hey, big up Elanga as well, man. Hey, free, uh, free my guy Elanga, nah, nah, nah. man. Uh, you, no, yeah, man, you can get him to the Chels. No, 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 no. We'll get to you to cut you off. The reason why I said big up Ziyech, because me and Habibi was talking on... Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Street oh, Oh, and that, yeah, yeah, and that shit, yeah, yeah, and that shit was hilarious. Yo, shout, he one of my favorite content creators. That done there is hilarious. Yeah, shout out to him. You need to start a YouTube channel, by the way. Yeah, he oh, 100% should start a YouTube channel. Yeah, exactly. Man. He, ha- he hilarious. Like, he doesn't. Well, I'd, I'd, report, I'd report that channel to YouTube. That's what I would do. Yeah, you hate him, man. <laughs> Hey, Habibi, really? if you're watching, you know what I'm saying? You get this message hey, to you. you, man, you, you man, be you, number one. Number two, you're one of my favourite content creators, man. You fire, 100%. But well, go on, carry you on. Know, Flores, you know this is your channel, right? Yeah. Go I on. think that's one of the worst things you've ever said on this channel. Right there, I've said a lot said. of shit as well. I know, but I think that's one of the worst things you've ever said. Hey, <laughs> why? Because I think he's one of my... Because he's, I can't have my favourites. You know what I'm saying? He's if he's hilarious. your favourite, if he's your favourite, then I would, I, would, I would look myself in the mirror. I would, it's yeah. one of you know what I'm saying. I just can't. One, I, even I, one of. Not even, just one of. Hey, see people that can't even have democracy on my own channel. This is crazy. You know what I'm no way, bro. This is this, this is North Korea here, man. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. Go on, Ooh. carry on, family. Carry on. Yeah. So obviously there was um, apparently as well like in the Aston Villa game, 
he started two CBs. Like apparently, like they've been training all week to have like Chalaba and like some other guy. You know, so and, and I think I think it was either Chalaba or Baidu one of the few players in the back three, and he didn't start any of them at all. Was Chalaba? And, you know, uh, or Chalaba, okay, fine, yeah. So he was like one of the um, yeah. So that there was that as well. That that apparently shocked the players. Um, and you know what, man? It's really for me. Is at the end of the day, just not good enough, man. We needed someone that's a uh, top manager. Obviously, from the reports, it's looking like he's going to be Nar Guzman. Um, you know, he's got a good reputation. Is the is is age, you know, going to be a factor in you know the issues that we're going to have with him? Um, again, we'll see, and we'll see at the end of the day. That's what I would say. Um, at the end of the day, man, he had to go. We, um, and you know, new manager bounce against Liverpool. Hey, hey. Hey, let's okay. not forget he played Kanti as a right wing back when he came on. No, 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 no. He was Mario Mario Wiki. Wiki. He was Wiki. That was Mario Wiki. To be fair, man, Mario Wiki does And also, Chill was a centre back. Hey, Chill was a centre back, by the way. No, no, it was Kukurella as the centre back. Oh, it was Kukurella. No, no, he put Chill well. He put Chill well. Oh, was he Chill? Remember, he took them off. He took off. He didn't even bring up any CBs. He literally put the, <laughs> the wing backs as the centre backs. Crazy. Um, you lot continue to get your questions in in the chat. Yo, we're four or 50 likes, man. Let's get us up to 50 likes. There's over 140 Ooh. of you lot locked in. Obviously, members, I will get to your questions as well. I've started all the better, all, and I'll start all the non-member questions. I'll start all the better questions. But if you are a member, then if you see me going to the same names, I'm not ignoring anybody, people. I'm not ignoring anyone. Uh, Nagelsmann is most likely going to be the new manager. Might as well make peace with it now. So just as I'm guessing from this, Correct me if I'm wrong. You're not too happy about it, but we're going to get to that. Jez, as the only other non-Chelsea fan on here with me, your thoughts on Graham Potter being sacked? Um, I mean, we talked about it multiple times on Q&A's Chelsea Spurs United show. It was crazy that they had so much faith in him to the end. I don't understand why. Obviously, the situation changed. Like, It's funny because how things work. Because like, if Tuka wasn't available now for Bayern, Bayern probably would have stayed with Nagelsmann and Potter stays the manager for Chelsea, which is kind of funny considering how, how this whole situation has even gotten to it in the first place. But, I mean, he had to go, to be honest. Like, 11th, uh, I'll be honest, since I started watching football, I can't remember the last time Chelsea were 11th, unless this was the start of the season, maybe. Obviously, maybe they lost the game. And you'd know in what it is. April as well. This one from in April, so it's like the first time I remember ever seeing Chelsea at eleven. Um, I remember. I think, I think I think this guy even has like a worse record. Yeah. And then Conte has with us this season, which kind of shows a lot because we really sacked. He has the, the worst Chelsea record ever in terms of. Yeah, no, that's season. why I know. It's what even even what's your what's your ex legend's name? Um, uh, the one that's uh, on TV. Ian Petersfield apparently had a better record than Potter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. random Chelsea manager back in the day. I forgot his name. Glenn Hoddle. Glenn Hoddle, when he was um, managing oh, Chelsea, yeah. had a better points per game than. Yeah, but I was gonna say, like, this is what I'm trying to say. Like, for <laughs> me, there's just so many, and this is the thing. Like, I, I and this is something that I said. It's a myth. Like, and what's a myth? Because I said, I think in January, I came on here I think on on a Q and A it was, and I said, when you go and buy and spend so much money, the expectations just rise. And I had a feeling he's going to get sacked before the end of the season or at the end of the season because he's not going to be able to turn it around. But a lot of people disagree with me with that. And I tend to be right because I've seen it at my club before. When the expectation rise, more pressure comes on you. And it's just a normal thing. I think if Chelsea never had that January window where they buy Enzo Fernandes, I think people would have been like, it's the first season, the players are shit. But you go and buy Madrid, you go and buy Madrid you buy somebody like Buddy Shiri who turned out to play very well. No, it's like a thing of like, yo, why can we not go up, up, up higher the pitch? And to be honest, Potter did a lot of things, but I think the main culprit with this whole thing was Bowley at the end of the day. Like, I think he's the one who has to take the most blame and that's not the manager, in my opinion, because he put even Chelsea in this position. And then, I know it was his first season as the new owner. It was hectic. It was kind of crazy, but I think... A lot of things could have been prevented. And it's just a learning curve. Like I think now what they know what Bodie has to do, in my opinion, is show that he has learned from the mistakes and he's trying to rec rectify those mistakes in the summer and then 
Let's see how Chelsea's going to do for next season. But for next season, a lot of pressure is going to be on them players there. I'll be honest. When you spend so yeah. much money, that now you get the manager in that everybody wants. Now everybody's going to be looking back at the players. So players can't hide behind the manager again. It's that simple. Wow, uh, 100%. Uh, let's continue. Well, like I said, we were on for the questions. Malcolm says, question for Ahmed. Who do you let go and who do you keep at Chelsea? I think he's talking more so. I'm guessing it's playing stuff. Malcolm will elaborate on that. But yeah, uh, I'm guessing uh, he's talking about players. So who would you who would you let go? Who would you keep? Well, of the players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of the players. Uh, one second. Let me just get the player. Yeah, the yeah, 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 get the squad over. It's fine. I could do mine if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah I, I, I could do mine. Let's top of my head. We'll get to all the what's recording. And all of you lot want to answer the questions, or will I'm going go and you lot? Yeah, yeah, mm. definitely, hundred percent. Oh, latest man, he's talking about players, yeah, yeah. I was just making sure, Malcolm, that's all, but yeah, that's fine. While we do that, 55 likes, hey, get us up to 70 likes, people. Like, check one, two, one, two, get us up to 70 likes, people, and subscribe. 6,140. I'm saying, all right, 6,138. We're looking for two new subs. Jeez, it's only 6,000 the other day. Yeah, it's crazy. Eddie, as well, before you go, one second. Yes, what are you saying, fam? You good? Hold that, Eddie, man. Eddie, hold that, Eddie, man. Hold that two new, Eddie. Hello, though. You know what I'm talking about? There you go. I told you, Eddie. I said that fuck boy in the right corner. Yeah, hold that, man. He can hold that. He can hold yeah. that team. Go on, man. go on, Ahmed. Get uh, to it. Uh, uh, listen, uh, Kepa, Kepa can go. Uh, I don't really care about Benelli. Mendy is the second goalkeeper for me. And Selena is going on loan. Uh, Barry should keep. Thiago Silva, you keep. Chalaba, you can keep. Chilwell, you can keep. James, you can keep. Uh, Kulabali, uh, good good night, mate. Um, Azbilicueta, goodbye. Kukurela, uh, I feel like I want to say go, but like, it's only one season in it. Uh, I'll, I'll give next season. If he's not showing me anything with the first six months of next season, you can go in January. Um, Fafana, you keep. Enzo, you keep. Uh, Kante, uh, you can probably. I would much rather sell Kante and move on. He's going to stay in and he signed a new contract. Yeah, but he's signed a new contract now. So, you know, I mean, it's over. Um, Kovacic, sell. Um, Loftus Cheek, sell. Uh, Mason Mount, sell. Zakaria, don't buy him. Conor Gallagher sell, Trikomeka keep to go on loan, Aubameyang can go, Pulisic can go, Felix keep, Mudrik keep, Sterling keep, Broha keep, Ziyech, uh, goodbye, you know, I'll send you to Ajax myself, um, Fafana, I'll go on loan, Havertz, uh, I'll send you back to Leverkusen myself, um, Medoweke, you can, you can stay. Right, Mason Mount self surprised about that. All right, uh, Victor, we'll go to you. Just like, just like, mate, just like McTominay, you know what I mean? Self, yeah, I'm sure, I'm, sure you, I'm, sure, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure, I'm sure you are a lot surprised. Mm. I know a lot of those, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold that, you know, man. Shut up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You went 11th, mate. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. How was this guy shameless? He's so shameless. He's 11th, you know. I listen, you know what I mean? I can't still fighting. Don't you worry about it. He's fighting. I respect it. Yo, he's fighting. I respect it. Sometimes if you don't, you got to be shameless, fam. You know what I'm saying? Get down, down to the knees. The, and the, guy, the guy in 11th with a Germany Havertz shirt talking is crazy. You know what I'm saying? He held yeah. it up like he held it up like Messi. Yeah, he has a Chelsea one as well. Don't forget. <laughs> he did, Eddie. Yeah. He held it up. Like, he held it up, bro. Like, like, like yo, we cannot forget this. I that, need this the clip, bro. This is me. I need the clip. <laughs> And I did for the setup too. I was like, he won't do it. He won't do it. Little did we know he did it. He oh. did it. So look, yeah. he, when, uh, no, no, I didn't say Chalabo. You know, it's today. time for uh it's the it's the Chelsea rejoice party. Y'all brought yeah, in, did it. Y'all kicked out the, the UK version of Graham Potter just to bring in the German version. But we, we get to that, uh, Victor. Oh. Who you? Who so you, right, you got the Dutch version today? So good. You said what? Oh. Hey, hold up. <laughs> hey, hold up, man. Oh. I swear. Oh. Go on, go on, Victor. Let, let let them cook though. Let Vic get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, yeah um, basically, I'm just saying that I'm keeping so that like, everyone else like can fuck yeah, yeah, cool, cool. So James, Chilwell. Uh, Badly show for Fana. 
uh, Enzo, Madueke, Sterling, Felix. How many is that? So, if old goalkeepers, old, old goalkeepers gone. I'm not keeping any goalkeeper. So mm-hmm. James Chalaba. So not James Chalaba. James Chilwell, Badly Shield, Fofana, Enzo. Madueke, Felix. We have too many players, man. What the hell? Mm. Um, you got a lot of players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to think. Midfield. Uh, everyone Center here. Big up cards in the building as well. Hello. Oh. Big up, man. Flawless is a celebration uh, of my city, man. It's a celebration, <laughs> man. It's a parade in some hey, city. Everybody, stop. Let Cos speak from. I need to hear this. Let me finish. 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 First of all, man, let me say a big up my brothers in the cut, man. All every single one of you, man. You know what I'm saying? Big up everyone that's viewing. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys like, subscribe, all of that. Number one, first and foremost. Secondly, listen, I'm happy, man. My praise have been accepted. It's been a long Ramadan so far. A third of it's gone. But oh, God has listened to every single one of my prayers, man. This guy is out of my phone. Mm. Listen, I've been smiling from A to A for four hours now, man. You know what I'm saying? Listen, this guy, he didn't have a clue what he was doing. I saw Mason Mount play striker at my football club for the first time in history. This guy, I'm telling you, he couldn't coach as well with a paper bag. So, listen, at the end of the day, yeah, at the end of the day, it took these guys long enough to get rid of this coach, but I'm happy that these guys have finally sacked him, yeah? So, listen, at the end of the day, there's a golden opportunity at hand. Um, we're, in the, we're in the final. We're in the final. Was it eight for the Champions League? You know what I'm saying? So, we can still do it, considering that we can get a good coaching. My personal opinion is I want Luis Enrique to come in okay. because this guy, this guy is a proper coach. He, he's, he's, he's seen it all. He's done it all. He, he's performed at the highest level. He plays a very good style of football. I feel like he can rival coaches like um, Mikel Arteta, Pep Guardiola and Eric Ten Hag in the style of play. Yeah, the, his mentality. Um, every every single box that you, you would want in a manager that this guy ticks. And I feel like... Um, people want to talk about how it might take it, it might take time for him to, 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 to adjust or he might need a couple players for a system. But one thing I won't ever do, a uh, coach at that level, is doubt their, 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 their ways of coaching. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like he can make us like very hard to beat, especially in these tournament competitions, because that's all we really have to play for. It's the Champions League. I feel like he can, he, he can devise a system where we can be hard to beat and then potentially in the summer we can start getting in players that suit his potential play style. So listen, man. I'm happy. You know what it feels like, guys. It feels like when Oli got sucked for you guys. That's how. That's how I feel right now, man. So, man, listen. <laughs> I respect it's good. it. It's good, man. I respect no, first, it. First, what are you saying, Surfer? Obviously, back to the question: Who would you let go? Well, I'm going to give a short answer and keep uh, James Fafana, mm. Balasheli, Tiago Silva, Enzo Fernandez, and Raheem Sterling. That's it. Jesus. Yep. Jesus. Massa. All right, first, first. Yes, I like Peter said, run the likes up. Big up to Peter, yes. Make sure you run the likes up as well, people. Run the goddamn likes up. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, time to shine. This is a good question. Obviously, the Chelsea lot, you lot can, can get into this one. Doesn't this prove to an extent that all the signings made by the new owners, for the most part, have nothing to do with the manager and the style, right? No doubt you've signed some top players, but will they fit? Good question. Anyone of you might can answer that. Um, so this cool. question I've heard a lot that we signed too many players and he doesn't know what to do with too many players. He only regularly played Enzo Fernandez and Jao Felix. He yeah. he was in and out. Madueki oh. and Mudrik hardly saw any game time underneath him. He played with the regular players that have been there for the summer or before. This mm. is just an excuse to to let's just put it right. It just wasn't good enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wasn't good enough. Just yes. just it all but. Uh, or I said it on a stream earlier today. Someone said, "Oh, why?" The question. I think it was Lewis's stream earlier, but you know, why are we doing this? Why aren't we doing that? All the answers. All the, the answer is the same to all your questions. It's because of Graham Potter. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. That is the answer. There's no other answer to it. Yeah. When you play a back three, and two of those back three are wing backs, and you're not playing a wing back at wing back, you're playing a midfielder. When you've got two defenders on the bench who can play, it's the manager. 
Yeah. It's the manager, right? Yeah. So mm. it's just like he, no one improved underneath him. Yeah. We all, they all regressed. At the start, they, they were playing okay. They all regressed. And the answer is this what's going wrong at Chelsea is, is, is simple. The big part was the manager. That's why I'm glad his assistant has gone now. But all these guys need to, needed to go tonight. They needed to go tonight mm. because what's the point? Those guys who were coaching are to blame as well as the manager. The manager takes the most blame because he makes the final decisions, as always. But those no, guys are coaching point. as well. Those guys are coaching as well. Mm-hmm. And that's an issue in itself. They should be gone as well. So if you're going to do the whole, sack the whole thing, you sack the whole, you get rid of the whole coaching staff, as far as I'm concerned. And maybe that will happen with the new, whoever comes in. But mm-hmm. the, answer I would for, so, yeah. the answer for this, and listen, some of the players we know are crap. And this is the third manager they've been crap under. We know they have to go. But this guy didn't help himself one bit to like even for us to go, wait a minute. It's de- it's all the players. Do you know what Bingo. I mean? Do you know what I mean? It's all the players. He didn't First. make he didn't give us he didn't he didn't give us a chance to go, wait a minute, we can see what he's doing, but these guys aren't doing it right. They think they can get rid of another manager. Do you know what I mean? No no Chelsea fan truly wanted this guy to fail, right? What would be the point? Do you know what I mean? There'd be no point. Um, no, there's a brother who just joined to my right. No, no, but no, no, my, no, but no, because because thinks about the club first before actual anything, right? He wants the club to succeed. He might not have rated Graham Potter, but if Potter succeeded, he would have been celebrating with the rest of us, right? That's what you want your club to do. I'm sad that he's gone because it's because my club has failed. Yeah, I'm glad uh, he's gone because he's you. not good enough. But we have to we have to look back and we have to make sure we get. You can sack a manager all you want, and I have no problem with sacking managers. It's who you replace them with that's the issue. Mm. Don't go from Tuchel to this guy, and then you're going to what? Who are you going to bring in now? Nagelsmann or something like that? I have reservations over Nagelsmann. I have reservations over Enrique. I have reservations over everyone. Like, oh, let's bring in Zidane. I don't know what Zidane's style of play is. Does anyone know what Zidane's style of play is? Uh, Success. But you can't tell me what his style of play is, can you? No, no, you no. Can't that's, the Zidane, that's the Zidane, Zidane team because it's just the Madrid. Going back to the main thing, he was out of his depth. He, you know what? It Leicester, that Leicester job's perfect for him. The level. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I, I think so. I agree with him. that. I think the Leicester job is work perfect for him. I agree with yeah. that. I think it'll do fine there. 100%. 100%. Hey, Peter, big up. You know what I'm saying? Bless up for joining us as yeah, always. Long time, man. Um, good evening, Peter. Uh, good afternoon <laughs> for you. For, uh, yeah, I know that Spurs fan talking. Um, but yeah, hey, I'm, I'm talking to Peter. What the hell? Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, my bad. They need to hit Spurs with shots. your Rico, god damn it. Yeah. That's what they yeah, need. Yeah. Yeah. I've been taking yeah, sh- I'm getting shot by all the yeah. reasons. Yeah, yeah, That's my crazy. bad. I'll take that back. That was uncalled for, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? Rico, no, I don't take bad. that shit back. Don't take yeah, it back. No need. Well, yeah, Peter, thoughts on Graham Potter being sacked? Fuck with Ellie. Um, <laughs> long overdue. Mm-hmm. I I'm surprised that they waited one game after the international break to sack him, when they just had two weeks to sit there and I don't know. It's weird. The timing is weird, but um, I don't disagree with it. Look, you, there's no defending that guy. The ideas are nice, but come on, like. It didn't even look right. It didn't sound right. Never really took to the job. Uh, started obviously coaching to save his own ass after a while. Chased some results, scammed some results, and I'm just glad it didn't work out for him. Like, uh, my fear was we were going to be stuck in an Ole cycle for a year and a half. Oh, yeah. And I'm glad that we're not. My next fear is I don't think everybody in that decision making room is on the same page. Right, so there's going to have to be some sort of compromise. And the next time our next manager goes through some sort of shitty run, granted, I don't think it's going to be as bad as this because I don't think you can possibly be as bad as how bad we've been this season. <laughs> doesn't really make sense. But the I next... didn't think we'd see anything bad after ABB on Lampard, bro. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> the next time we win two in like 10, I just yeah. want to see what the reaction and like kind of gauge the temperature in the room will be. But, um, nah, fuck Graham Potter. I'm glad he's gone. Um, if I were Lester, I'd be very careful appointing him right now because you are in a relegation scrap. 
Happy Potter Independence Day, TP. Happy Potter. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm good, man. I'm good. That's crazy. Uh, That's look, wild. guys, years, not months. Facts. It is what it is. It was indeed months and not years. It, it felt like years, Peter. It felt like hey, years. man, long <laughs> visions, emotional intelligence, doing yoga with the boys, all of these things, man. I was told they were important. I just, I want to see what comes out the next few days. Yeah, and I want to see yeah. the PR spin. Yeah, on binning Potter in the fashion that they did. Yeah, I'm really interested in this because they're gonna have to take some sort of accountability here. Yeah. Yeah, or Potter's going to have to be up to some crazy shit that we just have no concept of, which doesn't really seem like it's in his character. No. You know, like, I don't think that guy raises his voice at his kids, let alone his football team that he manages. Hmm. You know, so like, which is fine. He's allowed to be that type of person. But yeah, like, there is some blame that the decision makers are going to have to take here. Definitely. So like, I don't want everyone to think, oh my God, we are saved. Potter is gone. We're going yeah automatically be good now we have a lot of young players we have a lot of inexperienced players we also have a lot of people who just aren't good at the sport so like we need to very we need to trim the squad we need to decide what direction we want to go in and then we need to actually start heading in that direction they all talked about having conviction with their decisions and zooming out and viewing things from the long term but the moment you heard people start chanting for Tuchel at the Etihad and we were 4 nil down, it's that was like crazy. flipped in these guys' brains, right? It's crazy, though. Potter went from being calm, joking about crisis meetings, and now he actually got sacked. Like two months <laughs> He lost that game the next day, but he joked about it. He lost yeah, he joked about it. We day. lost 2 nil, and then the shit wasn't funny anymore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, like, I don't know, man. I would like to say we're not going to be in the same position next year. But, like, I don't know. Like, I suppose it could happen, you know? We'll see. But, um, no, nah, I'm I'm glad he's gone. I just think how we've got to this point in the season, where we are currently, is fucking crazy. And I don't want people to forget what's happened and how we've gotten here. I just don't. I don't want that to get swept under the rug. But we have a guy in charge who played under Chris Hutton at Brighton. So yes. we'll see, I guess. Like another Bruno. Yeah, he's. Another I think bull guy as well, Peter. I think another it's bull guy. also like I know you guys are probably like, Peter. I thought you'd be dancing in the streets, blah blah blah. I think it's fucking weird that some of his staff is left over. Exactly. That's what yeah, I said. Yeah, that don't make no sense. That's that don't make no yeah. sense. Like, like, can I? Can we just sit here and acknowledge that a lot of what's happened to Chelsea doesn't really make sense? Hmm? Yeah, it does. like that's okay to admit. Like, yeah, Bruno, whatever is our interim Me coach. In the Matrix, man. I swear that guy just started being a coach like last couple of years. I think ago. last couple of years, yeah. I think he's yeah. No, because he was in FPL like up through the COVID season. He was still a player. Yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't that Brighton kid with Diamond with Basuma. My shit. first FPL draft league with my homies. He was on my team. Like, oh, okay. Okay. been playing uh-huh. Premier League football within the like last four or five years. B, you know what it is we've got. Listen, at the end of the day. This Bruno, I've never heard of him. He can come from the back. Of Bro, he nowhere. used to be Brighton's right back. I, I don't know who this guy is at the end of the day. Listen. Hey, he's but, Portman, but listen, he's we, but you know what is? If this board has any sense, these guys, listen, Todd Bowley, welcome to English football. You know what I'm saying? Before he had it all yep. planned out, before I had it all planned out, before this guy was the next second, second coming of uh, Guardiola, no way. He wasn't. He's what well, he is, English Oli. He found out the hard way. Now we've got a golden opportunity. We're on the last day of the Champions League, the pinnacle of world football. You sack this guy, you've got at least two great managers there. Sorry, one great man, one elite manager, and one decent manager in Nagelsmann. You can get him in right now. You can you can have at least the the the, the understanding and the belief that these guys can make you a hard enough team to be in the Champions League and potentially win the third Champions League in our history. This is a golden opportunity. Why are we getting in a guy like Bruno to just salvage out the season like the Champions League doesn't mean anything? What are the standards of this football club? No, because cause. Because cause. cause. They, and I don't, I'm, if you guys want to push, any of you want to push back on this, go ahead. Ultimately, a lot of this vision and process and whatever and all the emotive buzzwords to make fans feel better in the aftermath of Tuchel getting stabbed in the back, a lot of this is about putting somebody in that position that they feel they have some measure of control over. That's what a lot of this is. 
they're not going to hand this thing over to somebody like a Luis Enrique. Because let's be honest, Enrique comes in, half these players are leaving, and he's buying six or seven more or he's not showing up. We are not in a position to make a Luis Enrique bend to our demands as a football club. We are not. So we're kind of sitting at the table with these younger, up-and-coming, next-flavor-of-the-month kind of guys. They also clearly don't have a plan because Bruno, what's his name, is our interim coach. Like, it's very obvious they weren't really planning this. We were being briefed mm -hmm. yesterday and as early as this morning that Potter was going to take media duties Monday and he was going to be in charge for Liverpool. So, like, mm -hmm. we don't actually know what's going no. on, you know, and, like, that's it. Just it is what it is, man. Like, I don't want people to expect them to put something together for the Champions League. They had a two-week period to make some sort of plan, and they didn't do it. Like Nagelsmann did get sacked a week ago. Potter didn't. If they really want Nagelsmann, Potter didn't have to coach yesterday. That's, he really didn't. I, I think the vision's changed from the summer to winter because of the infrastructure that's come in. I honestly believe that, I said it before you came on, if the infrastructure was in before Potter, Potter's not even on a list to become Chelsea manager. Yeah. He's not even on a list. I, I, don't I believe. agree. You know what I mean? Because, well, let's face it, there's snobbery when it comes to English managers and stuff like that. That's fine. I don't care. Get the best manager for a job. I don't care where they're from. But mm. I just believe that generally he wouldn't be on the list. Like an Eddie Howe wouldn't be on the list as well. Do you know what I mean? Something like that. He yes. just wouldn't. I think I just I just wish Surf, I'm sorry to cut you. Yeah. I uh, just wish that old sorry. Uh, I just wish that old structure with Marina and then um, uh, I think it was Marina left the left the club once Bolly took over. Like yeah, we know yeah, we know we know the circumstances of that that the, the they wanted they wanted a, the you know the transition period, but that, that happened. So what I'm saying is I believe this has been led by the the technical directors. This isn't been like a a bowling egg body, they've just come up and go, yeah, we need to sack him now. I believe they've been put under pressure and they finally said, yeah, that we have to let him go. Um, which is fine, but now just, you own the club, that's fine. If you're not experienced in it, which you're not, you let you hire guys that are and you let them run the club and then they become accountable for it, right? Essentially. If you read all the reports, Vivelle's leading this to, to get Narcosman in. Yeah, yeah, that's what Time to Shine saying here, right. as he said. And again, you like in the chat continue to get your questions in. It don't have to be on the pot of being sat by Chelsea. It can be certain else. But if you're a member, obviously I start your question and get to it. What he says here, Nagelsmann actually makes most sense because of Vivell links. So if Vivell had some say, some say in signing some of the players, it might equate to Nagelsmann boss. So. I, I just, just want to ask the question. Yeah, go on, Eddie. Go on. People see no parallels between a Nagelsmann and a and a Potter in this Chelsea situation. There is definitely. Uh, oh, I don't see it. There you go. Oh, there you go I don't see it. That's the, that's the million dollar question. Because again, here's my thing. Parallel. Here's my thing. 100%. It's not so much to do with playing and structure. It's like the actual other roles of the manager that Potter severely, I believe fucked up in like I never thought the players bought into his message and of course there's a part to the player just not being good enough but you have a, a guy like Nagelsmann who couldn't get his message across in a Bayern Munich situation Chelsea has somewhat of the same I want to say ego to themselves because they're they're Champions League winning club players they're Champions League level so I mean winning level so I mean it's one of those situations where are we sure that Nagelsmann can really connect to these dudes the way that he needs in order for them to play that the way they need to play? Because if you can't sell it, then what good is you, what good are you being good with it? Like you just can't sell it at all. And that's the thing with these young managers. Like I don't know if Nagelsmann walks in there and can command the dressing room. I really don't. And sure, maybe the football is appealing on the eye, but does it? What does it really lead to? Like, what does Nagelsmann have to show for all this time of playing this football that attracts people? I think, I think, and these are these. I have my opinions, but my opinion, but my opinion isn't word of law, so I can be, I can also, be, you know, wrong can I just on throw this. Throw this out there real quick. You look at the record Nagelsmann had at Bayern, and by mm -hmm. like all like just the numbers, it looks good, right? Right. But they kind of rushed him out the door. Yeah. 
I need, I want to ask why. I want to do like an audit on the situation and really like do my research and say, hey, why were they so eager to get this guy out the door? Actually, why? Was it just they um, thought that their realistic upgrade Tuchel was going to be taken and they acted earlier? Or was there something else kind of going on there? Because the usual, usual, um, I think... I, I, can I just say something? I see football. I'm just gonna say real short. Football, CFC. I, I hear that point. I understand what you're saying. I, I, I can, I can live with that. You know, you know, it's just before you go, yeah. Because I know you're yeah. the Monday's league guy. You know, it's. I was trying to give my two cents in before you give us any yeah, breakdown. You know, it's Pierre. Yeah? I think it's a combination of a couple things. Yeah. At the end of the day, there's no, there's no denying that there was a better manager on the market than Thomas Tuchel. Yeah. Another thing. Uh, another issue that they had is that the standards that these guys have are by the club is all one. They have a connected stat, like they have a they have a connected vision. Every single play, every single manager that comes in into Bayern Munich because they already have the vision at the football club in terms of a style of play and the DNA of the club has to fit that certain mold. So Thomas Tuchel being there, he's already been experienced in 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 in, in cup competitions. He won with us. Uh, he went to the Champions League final with uh, PSG. Um, he's 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 got experience in the Bundesliga and obviously he's a clear upgrade. Another thing is that the standards that Bayern Munich have at the football club, they should never be in a position where they're second in the Bundesliga. This is a clear thing. So um, by their standards, Bayern Munich weren't really having the best season in the league. Yeah, and another thing I wanted to add now. Maybe she won the exactly. title. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And another thing I wanted to add before Jez goes is that um, another um, he 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 had some notorious falling outs with key members of the squad. So like Thomas Muller, Lewandowski and Neuer, they all had issues with the same gaffer. So I think it's a combination of all the three. Um, I should pretty much mostly what, um, to be honest, um, Kostya said that, to be honest, because all these are reports, but I think people didn't realise a lot of the stuff was happening, not just now, recent times. This has been happening since, I think, before the World Cup. This whole stuff with the Nagasman stuff. It's just that it wasn't really deep because I think they weren't really in the feeling of sucking him. But I do agree with the fact that because they saw Tuka as a massive upgrade to Nagasman, I think they just took the opportunity because they saw the Tottenham and Madrid links with Tuka and felt just to um just to go and just do it and just suck in Nagasman, even though I think that second wasn't, in my opinion, he didn't deserve to get the second, but I can understand as well. I think another thing is also, from what I know, is I think people in the Bayern board think he's, he still has immaturity in terms of his coaching, in the way he acts, in press conferences, within the people as well. Which comes with his age as well. He's only 35, turning 36 in, in the summer. So I feel like he was always the type of manager that I looked at and said, you're, you're going to be a Bayern Munich manager. But it was way too early, and I said that at the time when he got hired. So that's why I felt like if he would have gone to Madrid, I'm kind of like, it's not saying that Madrid, you can't reject Madrid, but it's gonna be the same situation where like you may have the charisma at the beginning, but within and the fans may love you, but within the people might find it difficult to um, work with you. But and you gotta remember, at the end of the day, these are the same people who were broke the transfer record, or not even the transfer record, the release clause record to go and sign him and just do him like this within one and a half season, it kind of gives you red flags 100%, to be honest, like as him, Nagelsmann, the coach. But then again, I'm looking at the fact that these are, at Chelsea, these are people who have worked with Nagelsmann before and supposedly know him very well. I'm not, I would be very surprised if he's not the manager. If he wouldn't be the manager, then I think they really did some intensive searching instead of just going with the easy road and just said, you know what, we know this guy, let's just, just get him. Whatever Nagelsmann can be a success at Chelsea, I have to see it because at the end of the day, you expect it to win the Bundesliga. So I'm not really going to be um, giving you that much praise. In the Champions League, when you, his Champions League record is not terrible. But when I, when you again when you look at the teams that you, he played against, I think the in, compared to this Bayern team as well in terms of quality, it would have been shocking if he didn't beat most of the teams. So I'm not really surprised that this record is good in the Champions League. I think it's kind of weird because I had a discussion with someone and I felt like 
in my opinion, I think Pochettino is actually the best fit for Chelsea, personally, over Nagelsmann. But that's for another day, to be honest, a discussion. But I don't know. Like, obviously, everybody can go and do their research and find all, more things out. But I think the issue with Nagelsmann at Bayern is more eternally than results. So I don't know if this could be a good thing at Chelsea as well, where, like, in front of things just, just fell out with the people. Because maybe Bowley is not really feeling Nagelsmann, but the people who only hired Phil Nuggets. So it's like, you kind of clash again. So it's kind of, it's a weird situation, but you can only find out if you see the situation. You know? From see. what it seems, so from all the tests of Fabresses, it does seem like they're going for an argument as the number one option, according to, according to like the reports that are coming out now. But the thing, of it, the thing that worries me about um, Nuggets, I've said it before, is just the age thing. I'm not sure if he's even like, the right because like some of these guys like what Thiago Silva is probably gonna be the only player that's gonna be probably older than him or the same age as him was is Thiago Silva even younger than him like older than him older than him yeah so Thiago Silva turns forty next year and like yeah, 30. yeah. Oh, yeah, he's oh, yeah. Okay. Nagelsmann gonna yeah. turn thirty six in the summer yeah so literally he's like the only player that's literally older than him does does that maybe help him out maybe I don't know in terms of keeping authority at the club uh, I just for me. That's the thing that kind of worries me about his his thing. Poch, I can get, um, you know, the, the Poch shout. It kind of makes sense as well. Oh, well, but the problem is then the, the, the fan base is never going to accept a Tottenham manager. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Yeah, yeah so <laughs> whether you want to agree with that or not. But the other thing is, like, the manager space right now, they haven't got, like, that proven guy that's going to be you know, that, that that proven winner right now. Like, a lot of these guys are new up-and-comers that are just available right now. Not like any bar, like what, Zidane maybe can maybe make the argument that he's a constant winner at his time at Madrid, but... Our but squad is him, not in a position for exactly, Zidane to come in, Exactly, man. so, yeah. no, but I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying even in general, if you just look at, you know... Uh, oh, no, it, it's some pickings. Yeah, yeah, so in general, it's just, you know, up-and-comers that we've just got to look at. And then we just got to have to, you know, Fire the mie- mies, look at which one works essentially for the club. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I'm very interested to see what the next two months looks like. Um, but shit, a lot of other things happened today. If you guys want to talk about something else other than Grand Potter finally being put out of his misery, then uh, by all means, go ahead. Like, I almost forgot uh, that. You that's why I today. need to mention something before I forget. What happened? Um, I couldn't talk about it. Pat teaches leave my football club, I think. What? Obviously, I think, I mean, he's appeal. Obviously, they're still appealing, but I don't think the appeal going to no, go. And gotta go. He got to go. I don't think, I think the appeal is not going to um, go through. Hey, so Paul, it's one for next show. So you won't be allowed to coach. You won't Apparently, be to well. um, okay, as well. Yeah. Might do on Friday. People- Might do on Friday. We'll go on, carry on. Sorry, one sec, one sec. And to all the carry people on. who say mm. Otter and, and Brendan Rodgers coming to Tottenham, I'm telling you right now, there's more chance that there's more chance that Harry Kane is going to sign a five year deal before that happens. Mm. I actually was going to ask quickly about um, Tottenham. Did you watch? I was going to go like, first um, anyway. So, no, apparently, gonna... one second, bro. Yeah, one this guy, this guy is cutting you off, man. Are you listening? Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you see that Matt, Matt Lord did like a little podcast thing here with um, a Tottenham fan? And like was like a little forty nine minutes. Before you go, who was the Tottenham fan? It was um some it was like a blog, like a YouTube, like a Tottenham blogger. Well, like, the yeah, Sava to- oh, the, the terrorist Sava, yeah. yeah no, no, it's not him. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's like a completely different guy. It's like an Irish gentleman, but um. Oh, Harry, was, Irish Hotspur. Okay. I don't, I'm not sure who he is anyway. But I, I'm gonna go and look it up. I'm gonna go and look yeah. it up. Yeah. But he's on his tw- he's on his Twitter feed in it, so you can have a look at it. But he was yeah. actually he had he did like a comprehensive thing on Parrot teaching. He was like, there's multiple problems that with Parrot teaching because. Obviously, there's an appeal that's happening in the Juventus. There's also a possible criminal investigation that can happen there as well. And he has to appeal the worldwide balance of. He's got like three cases to bust for him to even just you know um, get to and <laughs> become back, go back to being a director of um, football. So no, I'm just crazy, telling you, man. this guy forget forget working at Tottenham. This guy won't be allowed to work in football in general for like the next two and a half years. That's yeah, it. He's like, he's, that's like getting it. charged with like crimes and like financial, like, yeah. I call it crime. He's not going to be allowed to work. Let alone like in football. 
He's gonna be fighting for it. He's gonna be fighting for his freedom, low key. It goes. This, this, this goes is my, yeah. my, my issue in this whole situation is why why are they still sticking with the guy? Like clearly, you made a mistake with content. You made a mistake with part teaching. So why are you still sticking with him by just not sucking him? I don't know mm-hmm. what it is, but I mean he's gonna be gone anyway because I don't. Nah, think you know what it probably is, Jess. Yeah. Levy's not trying to spend extra compensation money, and like I think that's what it is. Yeah, if he gets like charged with a crime and fails an appeal. There's probably a way out of that contract. There's term. That's yeah. That's reasonable uh, termination of a contract. Yeah, if I could save, if I could save like seven, eight mil in compensation by just waiting two months when your season's probably finished, anyways, I would do that. No, the season is already over. Don't worry. Just it's more about the thing. The fact is that I want the director of football here. Who can actually do and do the manager um search and I agree. This is this is the thing because I don't want it to go back to Levy because then this is when we're gonna end up with somehow with fucking Potter. This is the, at the this most is the part you could probably do what we did with Ragnick and just like have a guy there to take the whole diagnostic and then give you his options. But like, you know what the issue is, but you know what the issue the issue is is leave is Levy's ego in a like yeah, that's, yeah that's a this, fair, it's the issue. This, this is the issue that we have. That's why I'm like, it's so hard to kind of read what we're trying to do. That I'm like, right now, I'm not even. I see a lot of Tottenham fans. They were like, oh my god, Chelsea sucked Potter. We can't get nervous, man. And I literally said it on a space earlier. When you are when you are a chef and you were and you are applying for a five star restaurant and McDonald's, shout out to McDonald's. I love McDonald's, but shout and you applying for McDonald's, yeah, do better. McDonald's. And, and, better. and you put you put a CV and you put you put a CV in for both of them. Of course you're gonna wait for a reply for the five star restaurant and start going for McDonald's who gave you an immediate re- re- reply. This is the same situation. That's how I'll compare it. So I don't understand why people are so mad that we did might miss out of Nagas man. I mean I can't blame him if he wants to go for a better class. We're most likely going to support him better, and where there is actually, actually, at one club, even people who know him very well, like no Tottenham re- replica shirt can convince me that he's all of a sudden say, "Nah, I don't want to go to Chelsea." Like for me, you you're going to be a madman in it. So hmm. it's just kind of weird. But if you're if you're Nagelsmann, why would you rush into a decision? Period. Like, even no, like even no, like. Chelsea can come in and approach him, but he still might be like, you know what? Let me just wait. Because my husband, I only just got sucked a week ago. And yeah, just, like, like, easy like, and apparently, because apparently he was he was on holiday when he got sucked. And nobody told him. So it's kind of like he had to rush back to Germany. Then they told him, yeah, officially you're getting sucked. So it's all kind of weird. So he might not even take over Chelsea this season. He might do. I don't know. We will, we will find out, but guys, you know, it's I genuinely think, yeah, you guys can think I'm playing about or I'm I'm, hmm. I'm being disingenuous here, but I genuinely think someone like Graham Potter would be a good appointment for Tottenham Hotspur. I'll tell See, you what, the yeah. funny thing, the I funny see. thing about that is, yeah, before the Chelsea, I think it's gonna go to Leicester, though, because apparently, yeah, Leicester... no, no, I heard, I heard what Cos is saying because before this thing I, at Chelsea, I would 100% said Potter 100%, but they approached him twice, but... they approached him twice, yes, we did before, and yeah, we got yeah. one time we he couldn't get him. And the other one, he got, we got rejected by him. This is, this is the funny, which is the funny part. But the thing now is, is you know when you know what Levy is, he's about PR. He only really got us content because everybody after that Man United game at home lost literally chancing Levy out, and he was under pressure and said, you know what, just get go and get content, get him fifty million for three seasons. <laughs> so he's about PR. No, my thing is if you go, that's why I said to people, there's no chance that I see Brendan Rodgers or. Potter be the manager unless everybody who we want to approach rejects us. It's because he's about PR. If Potter comes now from Tottenham after what happened at Chelsea, you think the you think Tottenham fans are going to be cool with that? They weren't cool with Gattuso and Nuno. They're not going to be cool with um. They're not going to be cool with Potter. And the same thing goes with Rodgers. He had Leicester in a relegation battle, and I don't even think Leicester is a relegation relegation team in my opinion. So. I don't know why people are trying to do this whole Twitter journalist thing. Like it's like people trying to people acting like the Fabrizio, but they don't even have the sources, which is crazy. It's like talk sports force and shit. Like I don't know, but like I said, I'm not really worried about the minister's church. Like I'm just chilling. We're playing today. I think yeah, we're playing today at eight. I'm gonna yeah, be going. I'm, I'm gonna be going out and eat with my family. I'm not even watching the game. I hope Celini mm-hmm. can do well, but nah, man, I'm just chilling. Like I'll be real, like. This whole thing is not really worrying me too much about now because we go on to Chelsea. Like it's kind of annoying because I do wanted him at Tottenham for a while now. Probably 
Four years now. Four years here. But it's all this, man. There's a lot of mm. money that I would actually prefer as well. Even if Nagsman doesn't come to us. It's whatever it's whenever who makes the decisions at the end of the day, you know. Like if it's yeah, it's just I'm not gonna lie to you. Like because we're getting out of it, prayers, prayers that we actually are, like I think y'all in turn will legit have the worst owner in the Prem. This is what I tried to say. Liverpool fans, Liverpool said they have the worst owners. Oh, they're lying. Nah, they're like nah. if they have, if we have an owner who doesn't know which kid we play, and we have a chairman who's the highest paid chairman in the league who gives himself pay rises. When when we see shit like this on the pitch, innit? so I don't know what Liverpool fans talk about having the worst owners. Like they're just in the feelings because they can't spend money like Man United, Chelsea. Fuck, we even spent more than them. That's the funny part. You know what it is, um, just yeah. uh, because you know the, the podcast are talking about. They were saying that um, what Le- Levy is probably like in the most precarious position that he's ever been in the sense that oh, yeah. he's yeah. doing everything by himself now. Like you know. Like beforehand, like he had some people that might have helped him, but now it's just literally him doing now, the job. This comes to own from like years of just having people literally coming out and saying it was a nightmare working at Tottenham to this now, mm-hmm. where he had a he, we had people who literally were fans of the club, like legit, not wanting to be part of the club anymore because of his tenure at the um, how he's been the chairman. We had people who want to work in a way. But we refuse to work because he doesn't let like we we can't sell a player because Levy thinks that player is more worth. So let's say I think oh, let me uh let yeah, me so, ask sorry. that question though real quick to you, Jez. Yeah, go on. What do you think about the Vincent Company? I don't mind Vincent Company personally. I don't mind because let's I'll be honest, we're not gonna be going and compete for like the biggest honors fund. We're not gonna go and try to like for me, I don't care about Champions League. But I'm cool with Conference League and Europa League because the issue is that we need we need stability and we need an idea of what, what we want to be as a club. Because this is what mm-hmm. I, this is what I don't that's why I said I don't care about the managers really and truly that much other than if it's Potter or Brendan Rogers because I said this like this club needs serious structure and idea where they want to go in the next five years. Like yeah. if now it feels like you're just trying to scramble and hopefully hope that a manager just can overperform. That's what it feels for me now. I only say that because I think the only course of action that makes sense for the Spurs is a, is a complete rebuild. Like, yeah, complete that, rebuild. That's, why I'm, that's why I'm so advocate of selling Kane. I feel yeah. like him... Yeah, we're on the same him, page. Him mm-hmm. selling, selling him kicks off this whole thing of like, you have this one guy that keeps bailing you out because... You saw how shit we play. And Kane has over 20 Premier League goals. Now imagine you take those goals away and Richarlison starts. Mm-hmm. Now you're going to really see how bad Tottenham really is going to be when you don't have, when your striker is the main creator and scorer. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I think next season is going to be a shit show. But you know what? I'm embracing it because I think that's what the club needs. People need to start realizing that we need a structure and we need a direction. And then once we have those two things, we go from there. Whatever we're going to go and spend crazy money or whatever we're just going to be smart and want to buy these unknown talents. Because I'm I'm here for the for that. I'm personally here for that, even if it t- means we going to be suffering. Because for it's- what it's worth, if I, you know, I'm getting like, oh, if I remember correctly, like, after Kane, after uh, Bale got sold is when y'all really had some semblance of your highest peak. Is that correct you're saying? Yeah, yeah, after Bale, yeah, after Bale, um, Got like sold. two or three years mm-hmm. after, probably. Yeah. Yeah, two, the, two years. The, it was two years. It was two. It was two years. Then the Hodge sale, the sale, the sale gave you the funds to do what y'all did with that team. Correct? Yeah, and obviously it was shitly spent. Obviously, some of the players are obviously paid off, like Ericsson. I think. Yeah. Obi, I, no, I think Jan van Tongen wasn't that money as well that was spent, but you really realized we gotta, we gotta um, spend money if we wanna, and this is the thing. The money compared to what you get in the Premier League, compared to what you get now for position, like finishing top four, I think ten years ago, was get you were getting less money that you get now. And Levy is the type of guy who he's realizing if the if end of the year you get and you see minus numbers or you're not making the profit, something's not going right for him. He's like, you know what? I'm willing to spend the money. And funny enough, to be honest, he spent like 150 in the summer. For me, that's enough of money. But the issue is the recruitment. And end of the day, like. We had the recruitment, we had the structure under Poch, but 
the issue was we didn't push enough and Pochettino ended up overachieving in terms of like where the team was as a team. But as a club, it didn't felt like improvement. It felt like we just stand still from that point onwards. And no, mm. we go backwards. No, everything goes backwards, to be honest. And I think people, more and more people will start to see it. That's why last time when we had the debate on the stream, Eddie, I said this before you came in because I couldn't tell you that because oh, that was before you streamed, before you came on. I said, mm -hmm. a lot of Tottenham fans don't realise how bad the team really is. It's like this delusion where they feel like, oh, Lewis Rieke can come in six players and then we all of a sudden going to be good. This is what it feels to me right now. Now, I'm in the same boat, dog. I'm in the same boat. I, like, especially after today's performance, I got people getting at my manager before they're getting at some of these players. Mm -hmm. I I mean yep. it, is, it is what it is. <clears throat> oh look who's here. Mm. He's been Bro, what, what's up? <laughs> what's up, big man? What's hey up, man, let's not let's not start this mid off the road. Let's not let's not get <laughs> hey, Eddie, 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 actually Eddie. go go on go on Timo. This guy's gonna go say on, some bro. shit about the Lakers. Cut him off right now. Hey, he's I'm, about not, I'm not I'm not just, hey, 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 how about I, I, who I just think now, Peter? Who's salsa dancing now, goddamn? I just think at the moment we're gonna see Brandon Rogers gonna go either Tottenham though, probably in my opinion. No, nah, so. I don't think he goes. I don't what? think he goes. Why, not, man. Why, not, man. why would Tottenham oh. rush to a point Brendan Rogers? He should basically yeah. dog, he should go back to Celtic. That's not right. rushing right now. I mean in the summer. Why would that's his level? That's, that's not like no, that's not no, like it's no, like it's no, just hey you know what it is? It's the whole thing of like because Brendan Rogers, there was a time when he was rated highly again. And Tottenham was trying to get him, but people don't know this. Levy agents and Rogers agents and Roger himself, they hate each other. No chance. Damn. Oh, shit, I didn't know that. I think even I, I think even that. I think even Roger said one time. I think he came up and said one time he would never coach Tottenham. Hey, no, no. Oh. Bro, why why would Tottenham when there's other like coaching prospects that coach outside of the UK? Why would they pigeonhole themselves into getting Rogers at this point in time? You know what it is? I can only see this shit happen, Peter, if the same thing like two years, I think it, it will have been now, where every manager rejects us. And then I can see it. Before that, no chance. Or one of them. We have to yeah, one of them. Gonna, gonna, it's going to be like a new new thing where like, everybody rejected you. You have to go with that one because you need a manager, obviously, for the season. This is what I feel what it is, but this is crazy. Bro, it won't come to that. It won't come to that. Jess, this is what I think. Bro. This is what I said. Unless the... I don't know. Maybe, Europa don't League know. winning managers? Like, who is it Um, that won the Europa League and... Then when the Champions League semifinal, now he's coaching what? Wolves or Villa? I don't remember. Lopetegui. Yeah, Lopetegui, right? Mm -hmm. Bro, he went from that and now he's coaching Villa or uh, Wolves? Sorry. Wolves, yeah. Bro, what's – like, Kaylor Money. Navas is is captain of Nottingham Forest. Three-time Champions League winner. Yeah. Went from PSG to – bro, this is – the, you know how people are saying this is the Super League? Bro, This the Premier League is yes. low-key a Super League. Bro, you right. and you don't think Tottenham Hotspur, one of the best top six, one of the most richest, and probably have the best stadium, all that, can't attract a manager, and the best they could do is Brendan Rodgers? Come on, man. This is the thing that I'm saying. Come on, like, man. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really hear that talk. We just yeah, it's, it's, I had, to, I had it's, talk it's very, it's very it's easy. Really it's very easy to call Sporting and write a three-year, thirty million pound deal for Amarim and get him over there. It's oh, hundred percent. This is bro, even somebody like an honest slot at final who's. Let's stop this, man. We all know Poch is going back. <laughs> the funny, the, I, I think Poch is going to Chelsea. Hey, now. You know what's funny? Know. You know, hey, Sofa, Sofa. The Bring funny thing is here. Yeah, the funny thing is here. Yeah, apparently, from what I know, is that Poch is not even considered at the at the moment at all. Like there's a couple other managers. But he's not considered. I think they don't want to go back to this whole, ah, oh, we were wrong, in it. I think this is what it is right now with Poch. But I would take him clap me back. Really, you don't want to go back to Poch? Mm. I think I they don't want to. I don't think it's the ego wanna... thing, Paulus. It's the ego thing. Oh, exactly. Man. I don't think because they gave be... Poch. They gave Poch money. He spent it on two incapable footballers in the Celso and, and Dombele, mm -hmm. and they kind of just rushed to a decision and sacked him and tried to put a bunch of band aids over an open wound. So this now, exactly if they were going to go back to Poch after failing with two serial winners and letting the serial winners spend like two hundred thirty million on a bunch of garbage, then mm -hmm. they'd basically be in the same position they were like two and a half years ago. Yep. Mm -hmm. And like that's mm -hmm. like with football thing. and like with sports in general, 
the ego of these decision makers is a big thing, man. I can't see Levy taking that yep. public out. This this is what I'm saying as well. And like, he, if he does, the thing is, because if Poch I was expecting, I was expecting if he will do it. If Poch goes back, right, he's not going to go back and just be a yes man again. No facts. I'll be like, honest. I've already worked. I've already worked with you, bastards. It didn't really work Ooh. out that time. If I'm coming back here, you're paying me way more, and I'm going to pretty much get to do what I want. Yeah, and like, is Levy, doing? is Daniel Levy going to hire a guy like that? Nah. After how like he, him. what he just went through with an Antonio Conte, I can't see it. Oh, no. See, the, the, funny, the funny thing is here, yeah, I would actually respect him if he would actually go back to Poch, even though it's weird because a lot of Tottenham fans call me edgy when I say that I want Poch back, or I wouldn't mind Poch back, let's say it this way. And I, or I say some manager from the Austrian league or from the um, um ne- never from the Netherlands or some shit because they are not the they're not the cl- uh, clamorous name but I'm like mm-hmm. like bro flaws I heard I heard a Spurs fan tell, call Poch a serial loser I'm like bro, yeah, that's, yeah 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 what? that's wild that's like, wild this the, these are the people on the that I'm like that's why I don't go on Twitter the irony from a Spurs fan saying that, that's bro. what I was gonna say man like that's your club. Just, you and he won other places. Except yeah, he won at PSG. Right? Yeah, yeah, he won at PSG. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, just yeah. he's, getting, he's, he's getting approached by he's getting approached by Madrid. He's getting rumored to Chelsea. Mm-hmm. Other big clubs want him. Manchester United wants him once he gets sucked by Tottenham. Bro, he mm-hmm. is not a scrub. Yeah. I don't understand. He's a Tottenham. great coach. He's, a great he's definitely coach. not a scrub. The way people talk yeah. about the the discourse of, of Butch is crazy. Like, is the idea the is he the elite of the elite? No, no. people act yeah. like he's some absolutely. He awful got Spurs to Champions League final. Yeah. Do you know how ridiculous? Like he's some awful is. manager. Like, no, he's a good manager. Like, no, is no, he the guy to take is, over the top? Maybe he, not. He's getting talked like he's talk getting talked like how Oli should be talked like, in my opinion. Yes, yes. Hey, he got, yeah, he, got yeah. he got PSG to a he got PSG to a semi final. Hey, this he got Spurs to a final. That should be and look at this PSG. Look at this PSG Ooh. team. Bro. Look at the team. They, they could PSG could butter the league. By the way, I'm look. I looked at the fixtures. Mm. They play Nice now away, and then they play Lens, who are second, only six points behind them. If they lose both games, they could butter the league. Yeah. But apparently, yeah. but apparently, yeah. here is uh, ten times clear more of a manager than Portugal. Apparently, yeah. that's what I heard because he couldn't coach Neymar, Mbappe, and fucking Messi. Apparently. Yeah. Anyway. Crazy, like I don't, I don't, I would never understand people trying to be like who are hundred percent no against Pochettino. Like I'm, I'm happy with any manager, Bar Potter and Rogers, in my opinion. Or oh, yeah, Steve Cooper as well. People can't, be, people can't be nuanced in criticism. Like people yes. don't want to acknowledge that like Poch probably should have won one of those domestic cups at Tottenham when he was there. Agreed. But like at the same time, the ceiling was kind of low. Like, they were never really going to win either of those leagues, even though, like, I guess they could have won the Leicester one. Did you? But he, had a young, he had a young team. And, like, also, yeah, Tottenham, Tottenham didn't invest in the team when they should have. Bro, he went two summers with all the transfer window. Yeah. Two summers, bro. Do you know what That's it feels crazy. like? Because of the stadium, he didn't win two summers with all the – Well, imagine Ten Hag now for the next two summers, he doesn't get investment. Might, he might get no, some. No, yeah. I think I think yeah. the writing's on the wall for this for, for this Pochettino guy. I think all signs lead to Real Madrid for this guy. He's a Spanish speaker, you know what I'm saying? I think he's a squad. He's, 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 he's a squad builder. They're in sort of a rebuild stage. So I think all the signs point to Real Madrid. And essentially, yeah, he's, 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 and essentially, when 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 he has these young players like Shulmani, Kamavinga, Vinny Junior to work with, and he's allowed to rebuild with a board that will actually spend money. All of this narrative about him being a serial loser and him being a bottler. Will ultimately be overridden, bro. Let's be honest. No, I, I also as well, but I think the only issue is because if he doesn't win lead titles, I mean, I mean, Real Madrid doesn't win. When you actually look through the last decade, yeah, they they're, really, they're, really, not, they're not like didn't really yeah, win yeah. lead titles. So it's just really Europe. Down, so it only goes down to really Champions League. If he kind of, if he falls there, it's like that's what I'm saying. That it's it's a risk, risky move for him. But he will. But you know what? Poch is not the type of manager who will scare him off these jobs. Like he's willing to do and take the opportunity, which I respect. That's what I'm saying. I would never understand why, especially Tottenham fans themselves, would rather go for somebody they don't even know and say no. Like Poch, you know what you're getting from Poch. You know what you're getting in the end of the day. Mm-hmm. And I think, I mean, he will. He rebuilt the team once after Bill. Why can't he not do that after Kane? 
I don't know. It's so it's so nah, it's crazy. Before you continue though, Jazz, hey, large up all of you lot locked in. Still over 130 of you lot in the building. Let's get up to 100 likes. We're at 92 likes. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new as well. We're at 6,138. We're only looking for two more subscribers, and there's over 130 of you lot in the building. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I know a lot of you lot have told me as well that you're not getting notifications when we go live on the channel. Yeah, YouTube That's so just YouTube for you. That's just YouTube. So what you can do is make sure you're following Sarcasm City TV on Twitter. Make sure you're following Sarcasm City TV on Instagram. Because every time the YouTube channel goes live or the Twitch channel goes live, I always post on those two platforms. So if you turn on the notification bell on the Sarcasm City TV Twitter and turn on the notification bell on the Instagram story as well, hit the notification bell, then you know we go live. So I don't want to see anyone who's watching this I'm saying, tell me that they didn't get a notification because that means you weren't following the socials. Because there's mm. nothing I can do in regards to YouTube, nothing I can do. Yeah, just, these, they, guys, these guys just don't want to see us win, they, they just don't want to notify you. Look, I don't know why. Sometimes I don't get a notification when I go live. Mm, I'm saying, yeah. I'm subscribed to YouTube. I didn't get one today. Account. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I didn't get one. Yeah, it's fucked up. Like, yeah. that's just what it is. YouTube sometimes. So if you don't get it, there's nothing I can do. Someone knows in the chat of saying I can do, let me know. But there's nothing to my knowledge because I know it's not just me. Like, I know sometimes they don't even tell you that man is live. I don't know what's going on with uh, YouTube. I don't know. No, but yes. YouTube, uh, I just want to quickly um, yeah. address um, quickly a comment from just TJ Warren, yeah, TJ Warren TV. Um, obviously, no shots, uh, no shots to you, obviously. But can I ask the question? Uh, and I would like to see a reply as well on the chat if he's still here. Who can, end, who can end the Spurs trophy roast, though? Who can it, though? Mourinho couldn't do it. He went on to win the Conference League with Roma. A witch Maybe doctor. in the Europa League. Conte couldn't do it when he was winning a trophy everywhere he was. So he had two serial winners who couldn't do it. Poch, he can't. He could have done it, but he prioritized league titles and Champions League. So he didn't do it. <coughs> Bless me. Nuno, Bless Nuno, Bless didn't, me. Even, Nuno didn't even last three months at the job. Um, and then you had all the other managers who just were failing. Well, wait. This goes oh. to a question I saw in the chat. I wanna, I wanna put a shout out to Stephanie because she was in the United stream too. Yeah, I don't Take think up. he would do it, but do you think an Ancelotti would get that, get y'all over the line in Ooh. something, in some way? I, I think so. Yes, I think Ancelotti is that good. Yes, I don't think so. I think I'm Ancelotti. Sure, my, my issue is, my issue is he can. Yeah, he I could, don't think so. He, he could, he couldn't. My thing is that we not at we sh we just not at this stage where I believe. And it sounds crazy to say, but I just don't believe our mindset shouldn't be about right now um, thinking about trying to win a trophy. Well, no, because I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I think Ancelotti is definitely capable of bringing Spurs a League Cup or FA Cup. That's, that's my thing. Like, I heard, I heard we, even, even uh, us, we had to start small, no, right? See, no, like, just, you should hey, Tazza, I want to hear from you about No, 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 no. The reason I say that, Ancelotti <laughs> is a great manager, but I think he's one of those guys is like, let the players play, right? He's not like a. I, I wouldn't classify him as like one of the you know like a pep like an insane tactician or something like that. Like he's a great man manager and all that shit. So to get that level of talent to do that, I don't think it's attainable at Spurs. Because we're talking a league. Because the thing is, we're not what you're talking. What you said there is correct, but we're not talking a Champions League or a Premier League. I'm talking okay. A, so let's potentially let's, a Carabao Cup with a favorable draw. Yes, here. I think he could. Let's fast yeah, forward. Yeah, a lot of stuff okay, has, okay. would have to go I'll, we'll right. I'll take that. We'll go, we'll Let, let's fast forward here. Before, 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 you, fast, before quick, you fast forward, though, Theo. Yeah, go on then, Eddie, because I want to respond to would, saying would, that. Would, would Chelsea go. take him back? Just yes or no? Chelsea, no, yes. Oh, Ancelotti? Yeah. yeah. Would you mind taking I him back? I also don't think we're in a position to take him and like actually use him for what he's No, I don't think you are. Okay. But I agree. We have too many young guys that are just too inconsistent. Yeah. Here's what I say is if Ancelotti is in charge of that Spurs side, when Leicester win that league title, Spurs win that league title. 100%. Mm. Yeah. Spurs but like that, that yeah, yeah. I agree, yes. but you have to look at the tights. We got to look at yeah, the yeah. quality of the team, though. No, this no, no. The exactly. Team's much that was what the I was point, saying. The point I'm making is, is that well, I'm not talking about that level. I'm talking about Carabao oh. Cup or FA Cup. Uh. With a favourable running, Ancelotti at the helm. Yes. Like, okay. for instance, yeah, I yeah, think, yeah. I yeah, think yeah, Ancelotti yeah, at Spurs. Did you get knocked out by Forrest? Was it Forrest? But I think you get past Forrest with Ancelotti. That's just me. Can I can I put this out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, go on. Fast forward exactly like 14 months, right, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Tottenham won the 2024 FA Cup under Ancelotti. Mm -hmm. um, what difference in the grand scheme does it make for them? Absolutely none. 
Nothing. Oh, no, like nothing. But it's, it's, and this is the this is the, the only thing is. So then, like, it's what the should the priority? Like, what what should the priority be? You want to find this another? Is, I'll, and I'll tell you what. No, I'll tell you what. No, no, Jess, I'm asking a rhetorical yeah. question. Oh, so so so. So what should the priority be? Trying to find a potential short-term solution in terms of lifting some cup that no one's going to care about a week after you lift it? Or trying to actually put some sort of foundation together and prepare for life after Harry Kane and Son? Yeah. I agree. Like, like, it sounds fucked up, but like Tottenham's time for chasing trophies and thinking short-term oh, was over. years ago when they were thinking long-term. And yeah, then they yeah. started spending when they were on the wrong side, when they should have been spending yeah, earlier. Yeah. They like got it backwards. Mm. Now they want to throw money at a bunch of short term like patches when the spine of your team is fucking Oliver Skip and like <laughs> random Boy, guys and and Dio. And, you know what I'm and the thing is, the <laughs> funny thing about it is, here, and, it's the, funny so is here, and, 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 the, and the, fun, the funny thing is here. The spine is getting replaced by guys who've been at the club for years already, who were squad players. I'm um, Davis, Dyer, um, Lu, no, not Luis, Davison Sanchez. These were all guys who were squad players at one time. Know the starters somehow, or they get they're kind of like if one body gets injured, you are immediately a starter, which is an issue. That's why I'm like, can Ancelotti probably do it with a favorable draw? Yes, I mean you got to remember, Josie got us to end of the year, the final. Our dumbass fucking chairman said, you know what, fuck it. Because it's gonna save me money, I must suck Joseph before I find him. And there were fans who were happy about it because Ryan Mason could go in. But that's for another day. But my, this is my point. That's what I'm trying to say. I would be very unhappy if you go and trying to go and manager just again for short term reasons, like trying to win a trophy. Like I understand our fan base is dying for a trophy. I'm dying for a trophy. Mm. I said last time I was I think eight. Or nine since I saw a trophy, but and I'm like turning and I'm turning 22 in the summer, but mm. I'm willing to understand where we're at and accepting, even if that means we can't get the managers that we all love to get. I would love Nagsman literally right now, but if it doesn't mean if it means we're going for a guy that a lot of people have question marks about, it, I'm cool as long as we want to actually adjust, actually want to accept where we are, especially after Kane. I think this is when people are going to start realizing, damn, this team stinks. I think people don't really realize it just yet. <laughs> sorry, that made me laugh. Bro, like, you realize, remember, remember, Bale, remember, <laughs> that me, remember, sorry. remember the team that Sorry, Bale, I'm so sorry, yes. No, 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 don't, no. I, because I, I could laugh about it, but I was, I'm done laughing about it anyway. So. It just caught me off guard, and I didn't oh, expect you like, to say that. That's all, it, man. Bale was a one arm army. It was like that, damn, I'm getting cooked. You know what I'm talking about? Like, <laughs> Bale, Bale. <laughs> Bell was well, said, people don't realize army. this team sticks. Yeah, your team isn't uh, the best. It, but, bro, it, if yeah, if yeah. pass bro. Kane, pass <laughs> Kane and Kuluseski and Son, brother, I don't. You question if this yeah. team should be even finishing eighth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is what I'm trying to say. So I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm willing to go. You know what, Kane? Just tell me you don't want to sign a deal and just leave to United or I don't know which club you want to go to. Son, I know you give us hella revenue hey, from hey, South hey. Korea. Son, you give us hella uh, revenue from South Korea, but you have to go give it somewhere. Give it another club that fucking <laughs> merchandise. Oh, I seen Barcelona get linked to him. I don't know how true that is, but if Barcelona wants him, take him. I wouldn't mind. Son, I, mean, son, I saw a link. All I'm saying is a link. I'm not saying it's actually true. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. To be fair, they do need a left winger, but so if I, I guess to Barcelona, you sense. can go to Barcelona, fam. I'm happy with obviously Benson Cool got injured. So it's kinda weird now. I'm happy with Romero Kuluseski being part of like a spine. Obviously Petro Pro is there. We get an Adoji in the summer. These are like four or five names I think I just named. They can be a part of a spine or of a team starting eleven. The rest can go. Oliver Skip can you can go to the bench. Hoiberg, you can leave my club. Dyer, you can leave my club. Davis, you can maybe stay. Sanchez, you can leave my club. Luis, you can mm -hmm. Luis as well. You've been at the club over 10 years. You can leave my club as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need to just uh, need to hit reset completely. And we don't have the funds like United. We couldn't go and just spend overspend and spend hundred million on a target field manager just because the merchant really wanted him. For mm -hmm. example, like um I, obviously I don't I, it's not because 
we just making fun of it, but it's it's the truth in the day. Like Anthony only really got signed for hundred million because Ten Hag really really needed him for his system. I don't yeah, think it was it's at the last day, last day of the window, bro. Exactly. Yeah, after we lost, after we lost to it was, was after we lost twice the two opening games. It was after yes. that, right? Yeah, after that, yeah, forget. Yeah. He was, he was even yeah. after the Casemiro game, bro. It was, was it, it was three Liverpool? days. Was it after Liverpool? It was after, it was after Liverpool. Liverpool. After, after Liverpool. Liverpool, it was three days before the Arsenal game. Crazy. Yeah, and this and this is my oh, point. Like, and the, and the manager really wanted to fit this system. So United said, you know what, we're paying over the odds just to get hit you the player that you want. At Tottenham, you're not gonna get that. That's what I don't want Enrique as the manager. I wouldn't hate it, but I feel like it's just gonna be the same shit like Conte, in my opinion. Just not as toxic. So it is what it is, man. It is what it is, to be honest. Like Spurs, he says TJ says it's mistaken on the Spurs subject. Yeah, the Spurs fans willing to accept mid table finishes while potentially building towards sustained success in the future. No, the Actually, comments. are you are you willing to that? Forget even yes, Spurs fans. Yes. What about you? Yes, okay. I'm, I'm yes. happy for the eighth between the seventh and the. I mean, seventh, as long as we don't get relegated and we sit somewhere <laughs> in the fifteenth, I'm happy between finishing anywhere between fifth to like eleventh, as long as there's an actual plan, actual mm. structure. Because on the point when the team got assembled, that he had, there was a structure there. There were people who were agreeing with each other. It was just Levy who just fucked it all up and made it a nightmare for everybody. And then you go two years in summers with not spending money at all, not even a single penny. Mm-hmm. And you gotta also remember, we ain't getting shit from our owners as well. I think we are like bottom two in terms of actual money from that came from the owners. Mm-hmm. It's all safe, sustained money. That's what I'm saying. Like we have money, we just don't use, we don't, we just don't want to spend it. So for me, I'm willing to accept to accept it. But Tottenham fans won't be. Ars- Arsenal fans weren't, which is understandable because it's Arsenal, but. Back, let's say we get in a back to back eighth season, back to back, back to back eighth place finish. Tottenham fans gonna be fuming, but I'm like, yeah. Look at the state of the team. We should be grateful for finishing eighth then. If Kane, especially if Kane leaves, I think people just don't. I think people just don't deep how bad the team really is because Kane is overshadowing everything. Uh, yeah, sure. you know. yeah, he's the he's the guy in that. Hey, you lot, still short of hundred likes, and there's over hundred and thirty. You lot in here, we're at ninety seven. Hey, Hit the like button, like. man. Get us to, get us to it's triple very, digits, man. It's very Go. uncomfortable to accept the reality of your team when your team is not good. Yes. Hey, been there. That's very, you know what I'm saying? A very been uncomfortable there. place to be for most fans. Yeah, like, yeah. you know what? You know the thing about that? All of our teams represented on this panel are not good. Some are worse than others, yes. Yeah. But like all of our teams, in yeah. one way or another, I would say fit into the not good category in general. And the United fans this. in the chat are gonna say, "Your team's in eleventh. You don't know shit." I watch your team today. Bam! Like I'm comfortable, man. Look, me, me, Saeed and Double A on his channel was having to talk about um, Sancho. Very uncomfortable for me. You know what hey, I'm man, saying? I didn't like some, it. Come to Jesus talks about yeah, some man. Of those guys. Yeah, man. Bro, I was just him. Hey, I was hella. I was hella uncomfortable. Like you know me, I talk about anything that I talk about. I was genuinely like, I don't want to have this conversation. Bro, it's, genuinely. It's hey, 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 hold up, man. This oh, is hey, this hey, is Victor, you see what you, you said. said. This is guy. Hey, hey, you you have right there. Yeah, Mudrick, like it, you see what you see what he said right there. This is what I'm talking about. He's not spoken for 35 minutes, so he just told me. You see what this is what I'm talking about. I saw a midfield of Sabitzer, McTominay, and Bruno. Yeah. I saw I, uh, Sancho and whoever oh, else. Hey, hey, hey. You know what? Just Kick for that, just to interrupt him, Pio. Yeah, you gone in a bit. Go on. Kick sorry, him. sorry, Pio. Go on. Yeah, thank oh, you. Like, this, this is my point. Like, no. you guys are massively overachieving for the actual caliber of the players available. Damn. What, fam, what hey, have hey, I been Peter, saying for the longest Peter, can I, amount of can time? I, can I, can I stop I've you there, I've been saying right? this for months, though. I've been saying this about your team. Like, your team's not good. I don't know how you do it to bring these results together, but, like, a lot of these guys, you're not going to have them here if you had a choice. It's just because people are too stingy to take the sunken cost to move some of these guys on. That's why they're there. There's legit three or four. Three or guys, four. Guys. not enough. Like, there's four. That's, there's four. That's, that's and like, you, guys, you guys are having a good season. Might be some more trophies. You might make Champions League, whatever, and like enjoy that shit. Cool. But like, don't lose sight of where you are in the grand scheme of things. Like, every so often, there will be games where you just get reminded of like your current reality. That I hope the day was that for some yeah, of yeah, you. Yeah, Chuck is deep for C. But what, what really makes me sad, right. people are just immediately like, the manager's a fraud. I'm like, 
eh, those guys, like, we wouldn't take most of them at our team, and our team is shit. This is the point I've been making for the longest amount of time. Fair, it's what it is. You are related to Newcastle currently. So. Go on, Jan. What are you saying? I said Newcastle don't have the best squad either. To be oh, oh, so I, that's, that's, that's not true. Newcastle that's not true. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. No, here's the I thing. Mean, is, and New, yeah, and Newcastle, yeah, Newcastle, I put Newcastle, in a, I yeah, put Newcastle, Newcastle don't have the best achieving. squad, but they no, have a more don't. functional team out there today than United did. And we'll still finish above them. In bro, the bro, here, here, let, let, let's go through this, right? I was doing this exercise in my head. Well, Nick Pope or De Gea? Is, it, you, hey, man, you, you, can make a, you, you, you can make a you can make a case for Nick Pope. You can, right? yes, I agree with you. Yes, yes. I think Dalo it's easier to make da- a case for Nick Pope than it is for De Gea. Exactly, exactly. I didn't want to say it because, you know, Eddie was going to go crazy. I just want to do... keep it respectful. I just want to keep, you know, keep it stepping, right? Trippy or Dalo? I don't think it's there's the, a yo, question. Yo, Tazza don't do this, man. You see what listen, I'm listen, saying, listen, no, no, no. No, 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 listen, listen, listen. Come on. Hey, come on, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, Tazza, I'm hearing what you are saying. I can see what's on the horizon. I'm telling you, don't do this. Let me do it. 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 Yeah, yeah. Go on. Hey, man, let them talk. Let me talk. Let me talk, man. Let me cook. Let me talk. Let me cook, yo. Come on, man. I don't like what you're cooking, man, but go on. I can't prepare for this. I swear to God, I was waiting for you. He's cooking up fish and chips, man. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, come on, come on. All right. Now go Trippier, on. Carry up, carry up. Trippier is clear. I don't think there's a choice. All right. Yeah. Our, I'm taking our two center backs for most center backs in the world. I'll be real. Yes. All right. Yes, yes. Dan Burn or Luke I Shaw? Disagree with Ain't, that no one yeah, Ain't no question. Ain't no question. Ain't no question. Dan Burn, clear Luke Shaw. Bruno Gamirez, Longstaff, uh, and Willis. What? 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 You said Dan Burn Dan... and Luke Shaw. Yes. The thing is, it's debatable. That's we a get the point. Carry on. Okay. It's, deba- right. it's debatable, but carry on. No, no, no. You're making a great point. Go on, Tazo. Keep going. Bruno or You're dragging Bruno? us off which, a cliff. I think I'm, Newcastle's I'm, I'm, entire back Bruno you want? over yours, to be honest. Which that's Bruno great. you want? Peter, don't do that. that I disagree with that, great. but that's a whole different that's conversation. Yeah. Go on. Carry on. That's carry on, Tazo. Which, like which Bruno you want? Bruno Gamirez or Fernandez? Don't ask me questions you know the answer to, man. We've got a Bruno manager now. Joe Willick Willick, or Scott McTominay? Yeah, Willick. Sabitzer, Longstaff. That's I'm taking, that arguable, yeah, I'm taking Sabitzer arguable, right? Long stuff. I'm taking Sabitzer over Longstaff. San Maximum yeah. or Rashford? I'm taking Rashford. That's of fair. Course. Yeah. Isaac or Hogwarts? Which one? Yeah, Isaac. Okay. Right. Anthony Hogwarts. or Murphy? Mm. Bro, yeah, but like you can make well, a case for Murphy you, because you, Anthony yeah, yeah, has yeah. been you hasn't can? been good. There's yeah, potential, yeah. and I think he's gonna be a hooper. But going off what we know. But you it's know, it's not bro. Taza, you're spot on what you just done there. And even though that all being said, which I don't disagree, you know what I'm saying, with any which is rare, I actually agree with pretty much everything you stated there. I still think we'll finish above. That's the crazy part. Even though you could argue their team is better. Bro. Like the 11 versus 11. Just today, people, the 11 versus 11. It, we Let's could do even clear. the fucking subs that came on. Yeah. Our subs versus their subs. Martial or Callum Wilson? Who would you have her in the season? I'll take the guy <laughs> next who consistently season. hits double yeah, yeah. digits. Martial, goals. Martial can't stay fit, man. You know what I'm saying? That's it's my guy. Hey, Wilson, but hey, 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 hey. and the worst guy. one. And the worst one. Oh, Anthony guy. Gordon or Jaden Sancho? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> comparing wow. their stints in England. <laughs> comparing their stints in England. Who would you have? That's a middle Tell me. That's a middle Tell one. me. Hey, 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 you know what, Victor? No one asks you anything, you know. Nah, just, just like, you like, like, fuck you. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Bro, I had just come to Jesus Victor talk just in my head and when you, I was you know? sleeping, just stop I was you, legit you know taking a nap. And <laughs> hey, I hold that, bro. <laughs> bro, we're shit, man. And <laughs> when you, I said bro. this... <laughs> Close, Wait, close. when you had this, I shit really about... dislike you at oh, times, man. Victor. Just let me be known, yo. I really dislike this guy. Hey, hey, I'm gonna call that right now. There's, hey, there's, hey. there's, there's few clearer moments in your just... life when you really deep how bad your team is, bro. I legit, I swear to God. Let me turn my camera on, bro. I, 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 I had this today, bro. I was going yeah. hey, crazy. What's he going on? During the, he he had to turn on the entire stream. Like it was glaring. It was glaring how shit we were today. It's like, I don't know what the judges at OT, but somehow, some way, that's where we get all of our points. I'm we're not going to lie. We're just bad right you, guys have, you guys we're have been getting right away with this for a while. No, we, we I, would say, I would the say the last yeah, go on, game you go, we looked go good, and it's not saying much, was probably... Hey, big up, man. Four, big up, big up, people. Four big one, Betis. All right, cool. all right, yo. Yeah, you know, that great that game. 
And it's like, I can't even, because it's been bad since, like, before full. I, honestly, since that, that bullshit I mean, happened at Anfield. Because you don't know this. We, we discussed this. What hey, was the difference hey. between the, the, the to that uh, yesterday's performance and the Fulham performance? No, no, no. There's no uh, difference. Fulham the killed themselves. <laughs> that's legit. That's, and Newcastle did. Hey, that's literally hey, it, guys. Guys, that's you want to hear a funny stat? It. Had you? Full of our criminals. Full of our criminals stat? for that. Is that about Bruno? Uh no, no. It's by United. It's uh, by United. Oh right. Go. Manchester United haven't scored a Premier League goal since February nineteenth. Hey, man. And we're yeah. it's April second. Bear in mind, we've only played three matches. Hey, welcome Let's put that to into context. Welcome to all. Hey, hey, that's true. Let's do that. Let's add context to it. Let's not go over the top. Played, I'm just saying though. I'm just saying though. We played, like we played, we played three league matches. Yeah. We Still, like, like, like it, it, it's it's not look. But it's not good. It's man. not good. But again, it's with players we know. We just went through it against Newcastle. These players, and this is why me and Ryan was was arguing about this on Shameless. This team is not good. Like I, want, I want Fulham invest. I want Fulham investigated for match fixing. Everyone, that was really everyone, that was, everyone that was, was saying Chelsea, man. Hey, everyone was saying this, right? Today I heard it's Ryan even saying it. He's just an idiot, right? He's saying really. he's saying Eric Gunnar Solskjaer, right? He's comparing Oli to Eric Gunnar Solskjaer, right? All right, cool. Mm-hmm. It's not what even was our style? What, what was? Let's let's do this, right? What was our mm-hmm. style under Oli? We we were a transition team. We were counter attacking, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Bar Martinez. And Anthony, who is who is the permanent signings on that pitch from Eric Ten Hag? Uh, it was just those two, right? I mean, you only made three, and the other one gets suspended every other week. So. Bro, bro, that's it. And look, yeah, it and over. you could argue those are our two best players today. No, it's not. It's not. I, yeah, because like I've stated they before, are when you look back, theory. I've said this. When you look it's at like... the team, yes, like people forget we had our worst ever season. So when I say Ten Hag's working miracles, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not saying he's not working miracles in terms of United challenging for top honors. I'm saying that you look at where we're at, where we were, when you look at where we're at, it is night and day. But people just want to focus on stupidness, like oh, just the points tally. Hey, just this, there, just was, that. there was there Bro. was a point made that I don't think we can gloss over. Go on. Peter, what's up? what's up? You would take their entire back four over ours. You I would take that. the back four of the team that's conceded the least goals over yours. Yes, that's yes, yeah. yeah as as a collective, yeah, I actually would. Okay, I don't think that's even like, I don't as a collective. Yeah, I would yeah. take their entire. because oh, you're putting in the yeah. fullback. So that's a different conversation. Fullback. No, no, you know what? I'll, I'll take the center back pairing over yours too. No, that's what that's, I just yeah, needed. That's, that's where I disagree. But okay. that, I mean, that's fair enough. That's your opinion. But bro, yeah, but, but like, faultless. can I know? Can I just hear the rationale behind it, just so I can at least don't we uh, bro? Try and right, I just need ahead. to hear hey, again. This is this is a man of football here, so I'm not gonna sit here and act Look, like you don't know Chelsea fan. This is where this stems from. No, no, it's not. It's not even that. Like, it's, yes, I just no. I'm gonna be honest. I think but I think Botman and I think Cher as a pairing really complement each other, and I don't like what I've seen from Varane in possession this season. Granted, whoever plays in front of your center backs is always changing because Casemiro can't stop getting suspended or, like, whatever, right? Mm-hmm. So sometimes you have Sabitzer. Sometimes you have Bruno. You had Erickson before whatever the fuck happened to him happened. But I haven't got seen injured. him in, like, three months. No, he got injured from okay, the, Andy Carroll, the, no, the Andy Carroll tackle. He oh, for him. real? Yeah, it was Andy Carroll tackle. Yeah, he, 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 cla- he, yeah, he cracked, <laughs> he cracked like me. Yeah, his foot was it? Was yeah. it? Yeah, foot, I don't know. Like, like I don't know. Same was in a cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah his, his left foot. For I how think. for how yeah. I would operate as a team, like for the kind of things I want to do or the kind of things I feel are important in terms of build up, I think Cher and Botman would suit my team that I was building better than. It's not even really Martinez. It's more so Varane in that pairing. I can see that. No, that's fair. If I had right, like, fair. if I know I had like certified footballers in front of me. Like, if I know, say I had, like, a Jorginho or somebody, they're like, yeah, I could probably get away with the Varane. But, like, I don't know. I was I was watching I was watching you guys try and build against Newcastle's, like, mid-block. I was like, these guys are getting nowhere, man. Who fucks? And then you, well, got, you, know someone hiding in, you got someone hiding in midfield in McTominay. Like, had... Look, man, we, we had the prop. It's all well and good scoring braces against fucking Cyprus. Like, that's cool, right? Patriotism and all that shit. Great. But, like, Scott McTominay, I feel like you just need to go somewhere else. Newcastle. I Newcastle, they I, want him. I don't I know mean, why, though. I don't like, believe it. They, but oh, like, oh, they, what do you mean? 
They I already have a tall white dude who runs around in midfield. I like, don't believe it. he's not bad they than anyone they have. <laughs> Bro, okay. Hey, so man, I, I, bench, I don't know. I, just, I don't believe in. I don't really believe that you guys are actually this good. I never have, but it Bro, sounds to like your team Bro, is shit. The thing not is, not but any anybody Peter. with two eyes can see performance wise is not been it. Like that's why, Bro, especially he, everyone's performing at their maximum. Oh yeah, go whatever whatever center backs you take, right? The best center backs ever. They always have a good DM in front of them. Bro, when no, our, I agree. When we ha- when we have no DM, bro, what do you expect, right? Liverpool fans. Right? I'm not saying it's their fault. We, 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 I'm we, not saying it's their we fault. We try and I cook them. We try and cook them, right? For how bad their defenders have been this season. Their only excuse all the time: we don't have a midfield. Our midfield is non-existent. The Trent, oh, it's because Henderson used to cover it. Van Dijk, Konate, oh, it's because Henderson, uh, Fabinho can't cover. We legit had two attacking midfielders as our two sixes today. Look, Sabitzer man. plays played as a 10. Bruno is a 10 that played. Bro, like as our two sixes. What like what are we doing? So and then you expect our defenders and people are trying to blame it on them. Like you you can't do anything with that. Maybe the only reason we was in the game was the two sixes. Bro, the, the, the amount of time. shots they blocked. The amount of Bro. shots they blocked. At the end of the like, day, you guys had like one shot on target. Like, even yep. if you guys defend amazingly, it's not like you're winning. No, I think we played out there with. If I had, I think we played four on eleven. Oh, it was not. It was but not looking good. Maybe I was like, two. I'm not gonna lie. I watched like ten minutes. I was like, let me go do my grocery shopping. Let me reassess at halftime. Yeah, because there was no need to really watch the game. There was. And really then I turned no on the TV. Game. I turned on the TV. I saw a double header. I just think Newcastle are very funny because like they score some 1980s goals, like two headers in the box, headed across goal. Random guy on the goal line, it's Joe Willick, and I'm like, hey man, Joe Willick dagger. It's happened to my club. It is what it is. Callum Wilson, I want to thank you for coming off the bench and getting FPL points in a double game week. So if you could start next next game, that would be great. But um, I don't know. I just don't really I'm not impressed by the caliber of your players from top to bottom. But I was saying this on these streams when you were winning the games. I said your squad's too small, too many of the players are shit. People yeah. are like, oh, we've won 14 out of 16. I'm like, that's great, but they're still terrible. Mm-hmm. You know, and like, well, there's oh, only four good players. The season is too long Not to five. coast with that much shit in a team, especially when eventually you're going to yeah, be playing. Got to and, to have, it's a good player as well. You're going to be, you're going to be, six. you're going to be playing in the main European competition, where like, huh? you're not going to have. Betis in between playing like a Newcastle and like a city or something like that. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. you need to raise the floor before you can really worry about what your ceiling is. Cause there's too much of a gap between the two. Facts. And that's how you get like mediocrity, you know? But, but that's where we've raised the, because we've raised the bar already. People are like, Oh, well, 10 hours. No, we have raised it, but we, we need to raise it some more. We are, we were light years behind where we want to be. At the start of the season, are we now closer? Yes, but we still have levels to go. We're still worlds apart. Still many, many, many levels to go. One hundred and ten. Bro, and that's Just why. That's why when you, yeah. as you said, right, Peter, you were saying this when we were winning. I was saying this when we were winning, bro. I was saying this, and I was just, oh, you're just always complaining, blah blah blah, bro. The bet, it's easy to complain. Like after today's performance, you could point a finger at every single person there. It's mm-hmm. easy. The best part to do it is when you are good because that's when you can think with the clearest head because you want to like these guys. These these are the same guys that are getting you 23 out of 26 wins, but that if you can find faults in them, that's that's the real analysis. That's real criticism. Bro, like it's it's easy to criticize it now. That's I I was been saying that. But now you guys all saw the come to Jesus talk with De Gea. Bro, Bruno, we don't even need to talk about him. Luke Shaw. I'm glad we haven't signed the contract yet. Change that shit up, yo. I respect Luke Shaw, man. He does just enough to continue to get raised. He he literally agreed his contract and just went downhill right away. He is the definition of the bare minimum, ass nigga. That's what he is. Luke Shaw is literally the definition of the bare minimum. He's long enough to get a raise, and then he's so bad. You know what he is? He meet when I used to work day jobs in that. That's him. He got the pay rise. 
a, a new contract over the years. It's all like, yo, I'm set. No, don't Bro, watch that guy, that guy went in the post match and started talking about his own new contract. Have you ever heard of something like that? I don't even know that I even paid no attention. See, but, but before um before you continue um because I might I might just um drop because I want to go and cook something quickly um. Mm. Don't cook, nigga. What, what what were you? <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey Chuck, don't think I'm going on um, that vacation. I'm an advocate of cooking something yeah. late, fam. But hey, anyways, uh, um, what, what were you actually talking about on the show anyway? Because I didn't know you were even streaming, to be honest. Wait, whose show? Wait, what? So he's Zaid, Zaid. 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 Yeah, Oh, the, obviously, yeah. I do the unfilled podcast, so it's the United show. So, we obviously, we just normally talk about the United Tate, thing from that happened. Nah, Andy Tate wasn't, he wasn't on, no, he's been around. Shout out my yeah. guy, Andy Tate, though, man. Um, but yeah, to big up Andy Tate. Hopefully, it's about tomorrow because he does drop in on doing the most. Oh, I do actually want to hear your thoughts because obviously, I don't know. Because the, the funny thing, I was. I was asleep, not leave till the um, whole yeah. game. I literally woke up when Newcastle scored the second goal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I only what came to the chat. Huh? Go, go on now. Go yeah, on. I, only, real, I only said, I only said, um, obviously to the chat and get the lights up, and then I left. Yeah. So yeah. what was the issue you thought about the game? And obviously, I want to hear from Tarso and from Eddie. Yeah, as well. that's cool. Yeah, nine... I have no idea what happened today. Yeah. I didn't even nine... watch the highlights. Good, nine PM on Saeed's channel every Sunday, people. So you can check that out. By the way, there's a playlist for it on this channel, so it's all there. You can. I need to update it with this week's episode just gone. Well, yesterday technically, but um, in regards to the game, we were just horrendous all over the pitch. Mine is Martinez, Varana. I give the hair a little credit but when i seen mm -hmm. the midfield that we had i was like yes it's gonna be a struggle i predicted one nil like manchester united win like i knew it wasn't gonna be pretty i didn't expect a performance that bad but how can i be shocked when there's a bunch of players out there that i don't rate a bunch of players that i would get rid of whether that's sell or move to squad players no. take out martinez take out varan take out rashford i don't want to see any of the in, in an ideal world i don't want to see any of the other players so that's eight other players. I don't want to see any of them in the starting lineup next season. Not all of them sold. Some of them to the bench, but I want them. They're not like De Gea, De Low, Shaw, the entire midfield, even though I would sign a bit so, but as a squad player. Anthony's still 50-50 on him. Verkos the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have, a we have a bunch of squad players out there. That's the problem. The majority of the players we had out there at best are squad players if we're, but it's Ten Hag's first season. You can't. You're not going to sell... It's not football manager or FIFA. You're not going to bring in 25 and sell 25. Like, shit don't work like that. So it's just a question of just keeping everything taking over. Like, and that's it. Yeah, we're fourth. Today was disappointing. Well, yesterday, I should say, was disappointing. That's all it was. It was a disappointing result. The, the world is not... Um, the world is not ending. And to Abdi, I'm not saying I wouldn't sign Sabitza. Very mediocre. That's why I'd have him as a squad player. Sabitza as a squad player is fine. And when I say squad player, I'm saying fifth choice. There's five midfielders. He's number five. That's the level where we should be at. That's just this me. Is, this is what gets Go me. On, Eddie. This is what gets me. Like, we come on here and we tell y'all every day we're not in a title race. These players aren't good. And then people turn around and ask us, how come yeah. you're not berating the players? How come you're not saying this every time? Because we know they're not fucking good. What's understood doesn't need to be explained. I'm not here to continually talk about some shit that I already know the answer to. I already know the parameters about. I know the ins and outs of it. I've never trusted a single one of our players not named Casemiro, Martinez, and Varane. Those are the only three players I trust. And I noticed I didn't mention Rashford because, again, it's one of those situations where the goal scoring is cute. What are you doing outside of that as a winger? As a winger in our system, what we need from our wingers, what are you doing? So I had to back off. Rashford's the only one. If, like, it wasn't for the goals, if we just took goals out the game, which is crazy to say, I know that, people. I know that. I generally understand that. And you watch him play. You watch the decisions he makes. It's crazy. But he's been producing, so you can't really talk about it too much. Other than him, there's nobody worth wasting my time on because they're not Manchester United quality. They weren't Manchester United quality when we were losing fucking 6-1 to Tottenham in an empty-ass stadium. They have never been Manchester United quality. All those players, every single player signed during the Glazer era is not Manchester United quality. Other than, I think, I'd say Casemiro, 
because he has the pedigree. But that's my that those are my standards for the club. The standards of the Glazers are who makes us the most money. And so I've resigned to the fact that people love Bruno for some strange reason. So I need Bruno to be our worst midfielder if he's going to be in the starting 11. Meaning between him and Erickson, it's a wash because Erickson just doesn't have the legs. But he has the creativity. But for the full 90, can he do it? I'm not too sure. He's got something else. Yeah, that's crazy. That's got a dog in the, in the chest. Well, yeah, go on, Taz. That's crazy. I'm just like I'm just I, I'm I'm not. It's just it's always the reminder that Ten Hag is the most important piece at our club. Mm-hmm. Like I'll say, fuck the players religiously. I could if I wanted to, because I know what Ten Hag is doing. Like Peter said, is magical. It's fucking magical. These players are losers. You have Maguire holding a trophy like he's done something. The only players who weren't who weren't so fucking invested were the ones who won something numerous times. You didn't see Casemiro going crazy. You didn't see Varane going crazy. You didn't get that tape. Like I need eight, at least eight of these dudes out. This this is where this is flawless, flawless. Shout to me. Remember that stream. Where I said these attacking players will get this man fired. <laughs> yeah. I just want you to think back to what I what I said and how you reacted at the time. And Are you talking about, about initially? You, initially yeah. when you said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking at you like it was crazy. Think I'm about like, think about how you feel right now. It's the same, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. You absolutely. just know that these this collective, these collective retards will let this guy down if you leave them there long enough. Oh yeah, absolutely. Know. Like, and it's like, just be very like, guys. You want to blame the manager for today? Cool, but also understand, a lot of these people need to play somewhere else. Some of them can still go to uni if they want. It's fine. Like, second hey. careers are a thing. Like, now, you could be in uni, you flex the small phone. Quiet. So like, it's, it's all good. But um, yeah, it just I don't know. It's funny. Like, it's funny seeing you guys kind of completely flip flop from where like we were last year. Like. Everyone was like, oh, you got a coach attacking football, blah, 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 should be doing better. Meanwhile, like, what has Timo Werner done this year? Kai Havertz, whatever. Pulisic, eh, like, the decision was made. Our club went in a certain direction, and now we're going to have to make another decision on another guy because their guy to replace the supposed bully who didn't want Cristiano Ronaldo, like, their guy didn't work. You know, it's just funny. Like, it's funny how football works, and it's funny how, like, People can only people see with yourself. Yeah, people can only seem to see the bad when it's a bad result, but only see the good when it's a good result. They were killing Murtaza in the quote tweets of that Grizz tweet when Murtaza was trying to basically say, I don't think De Gea fits what we want to do if we're trying to move forward in the direction we think we're trying to go towards. They were killing him saying, oh, but he made all these saves against Leicester. And I was like, that's cool, but like, that's not really what we're talking about. You know, and it's like, it's just, it's, people are very short term. Like, you got whoever you play next, if you win 5 0, people are going to try to pretend to forget, like, what just happened didn't happen. Of course. Of course. And they're going to give these guys a seventh or eighth chance. Well, like Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw is a prime example of what you're talking yes, about. Then you'll probably be back in the same position next season or. God forbid think, when this manager goes and you have to find another manager. Yeah, that's why I think where Ten Hag, I think he will sign players. That's the difference, I think, here. I don't think he'll settle for what's going on like with the with the level these players are. I think he'll go in the window again. Look how many he's brought in. He signed seven players in two windows. Yeah, it just it's it's very interesting, man. Like yeah. I think your club, I find it fascinating. I just think it's very funny how people have to justify their likely reality. And like mm-hmm. the coping mechanisms that some use. Absolutely. But I mean, hey, we'll see, man. Maybe you guys will start winning some games again and like things will go back to how they were. You'll be Definitely. Like, once, we'll see. once once Cass and Erickson are back, we'll be all right. But yo, before you lot conti- before we continue, sorry, we are gonna close out shortly. Continue to get your questions in. We are gonna close out shortly, but yeah, continue to get your questions in. 
Hit the like button yeah, on the video. Okay, though. if you're watching live right now. Yeah, one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit the like button. Make sure we got 112. Let's bump up the like. Subscribe to the channel as well. Um, yo, there's still are over 120 of you lot locked in. We're at 6,143. Let's bump that up. Let's get two more, man. 6,145. Smash the likes. Yeah, one more actually. 6,145. Like Timo said, smash the likes. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe to Lewis's channel as well. Carefree Lewis. Yep. The links underneath in the description as well. Um, go on, Jess. And then um, TJ, oh. I'm going to get to your question as well. Yeah, go on. Actually, I want to ask um, Peter, or since Potter's gone, because I forgot to ask you, who do you actually want to see as manager, actually, and who you think could be the right decision? Or is it more of a thing of like, you need to see how this new, how your board is working with the new, regardless of the new managers, and to kind of have an idea. Uh, I, I know, I feel like I know who it's going to be. Yeah. But that's not what I would choose. If I had to make a list, I would go Pochettino, I would go Amarim, and I would then go Nagelsmann after that. Um, If it was, because the problem is, there's clearly enough people around the decision-making table that have enough influence and somewhat strong opinions because we were being briefed yesterday that Graham Potter was going to take media duties on Monday and there'd be no change prior to Liverpool. Clearly something must have changed if he got sacked on a Sunday evening. And if you read all of the reporting coming out, like apparently the players didn't find out until hours later, it doesn't, it doesn't smell right. It all seems very sudden, and I just – I'm not sure how united the brain trust is beyond the fact that they realize that Potter's just not the guy. So I'm okay if they bide their time and twiddle their thumbs. I'm okay with getting dumped out by Madrid because Bruno What's-His-Name is not leading us to a win at the Bernabeu. Like, the jokes are funny, but, like, this is not happening. Like, hey, some, some, remember the folks but, from Mason, but the, 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 fat the, assistant coach, the fat assistant coach who looked like the goalkeeper from Sutton United who ate all the pies, like, five years ago? That guy got fired, so that's cool. <laughs> so, um, you know, like, I'm, I'm okay with them actually trying to make a measured decision and taking stock as long as they acknowledge that they're largely the ones who fucked this up. There needs to be some sort of accountability. What I'm not trying to hear is players lost faith in Potter, uh, blah, blah, blah. Tactical instructions were confusing. I don't want them to undo all of the Potter PR they were doing to try and undo the stain of Thomas Tuchel. I don't want them to walk back that stuff without acknowledging, hey, guys, we probably fucked this up. We fucked up how we handled this. That needs to happen first and foremost. And then we can move forward. Because let's be honest, they're not going to sell us. I don't even think they legally can for like the next 10 years. So we're kind of stuck in this. So we need to make the best of it. But no, I want them to then put their heads together and make a measured rational decision. I don't want them to rush into another decision. I don't want them to be a major dissent over who's going to come in to the point where the moment whoever comes in only wins two games out of nine because half our players are incompetent that like people aren't pushing them out the door. What I don't want this to be is a circus without the trophies. If you're going to have the circus element of this, we better be at least be winning or like seriously contending for stuff. Mm -hmm. We talk about a vision and a plan and a long-term goal. I don't want to be back here in 16 months. And I have a feeling that we will be because I mm -hmm. just don't trust these guys. I didn't trust them then. I don't really trust them now. I don't disagree with this decision, but how we've gotten to this point in our season is fucking crazy. And all of you who aren't just don't want to acknowledge that, I don't know what to tell you. And I feel like we can't have an honest conversation about this. What's going on at our club is insane. It's not necessarily bad. It's just fucking insane. But, you know, I don't really care. I don't think they're going to hire Potch because – our fans are not going to accept that. Oh, my God. Especially not, like, with what's been happening. Oh, John Miller was seeing Pochett at the Stanford Bridge. Oh, my God. Mm. But, like, I would I would love to hire Amarim. I think Amarim's going to go to Tottenham. But I think who's, a lot who of does Amarim manage? Who's, who does who's the sporting, sporting, sporting manager? Oh, he's the sporting manager. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, let's have basically, been, right, he guys? was contending for the huh? Liga titles in Portugal until their team got ripped apart. Mm -hmm. So, 
I think I think like that would be a nice appointment for Tottenham. Also, like he's fair, he's relatively not unknown, but like not really connected to the English game in that sense. Kind of like an outsider kind of type that somebody. Like, so who do you talk about? Amr. Yeah, Amarim to Tottenham. Yeah, yeah I agree. I, I would fun, guess fun enough. Have, I think fun it'll enough, be. Oh, sorry, I, think... fun enough, I just want to say quickly. Fine enough, he actually scored us twice in the Champions League as well. Or no, I, I remember watching. I know, like he's a he's a good coach. Like Amarim to Tottenham is what I think will happen. Nagelsmann to Chelsea will happen, and then Pochettino will go to Real Madrid once Ancelotti retires. Those are the things I kind of think will happen, and those are the, that's how I think the musical chairs will play out. But if I'm wrong, and some other mixture of that shit happens, whatever. You know, but no, I want them to make a measured decision. I I don't think it's that deep. I just think a lot of these players, I don't want to see Kai Havertz get a fourth chance. You gonna leave my club right now? <laughs> Sorry. If Nagelsmann uh, pushes for you, Felix Zhao Day, all these Zhao Days, <laughs> two goals. Well, how, how many goals, goals has he got? Is it two in ten? Oh, I, think, I think two, two goals think two in like, in like ten, 10 games. All these, hey, don't all forget the red card. Don't buddy. forget the red card. Hey, and a red card, Zhao Felix. So wait, he's got as many red cards as assists. He's got more red cards than assists. Has he not got one assist? Surely he's no, got one. We don't score goals. Who's gonna assist? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have to assist. I remember, like Havertz was getting hell of assists. I told you guys. I told you guys. Mudrik was just Werner seeking asylum. I told you. <laughs> I told you guys. That's crazy. That's I already tried to tell them from like. And you know what? Mudrik had the nerve to release a workout video today. I don't care about your deadlift. I'm trying to see you fucking hit the side net from inside the box, mate. I don't care about how fast you could run. Hey, hey shout out to the Chelsea scouts, though, bro. They scout all the way over in Chernobyl, bro. They just picked a random brother it's out. It's unbelievable. There, like, it's so they just disgusting. Pick a random got, brother from there. We, they clearly capital sees this club because of the Ukrainian conflict, and they thought they could just ha- sign a Ukrainian for the PR. It's nuts. <laughs> this is insane because like, 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 well, like, well, like a lot of the these show. guys a lot of these guys they start learning another language go to another football club that's a hundred that's a hundred million plus body. whatever he makes over those eight years marketing PR package <laughs> that's, like, that, that's what that is sorry, right, so you signed the fake Brazilian this summer so <laughs> that's, that's what that is hey, that fake Brazilian still has more goals than your fucking Hey, man, I don't even want to say like, what I want to say. That's what I'm saying, Forget you. He forgot who he was for a little bit there. It's all good, though, sir. Hey, my, nice my point is, million pound fidget spinner. It is it's what good, it is, man. So it is my, my, over, my overarching point on Chelsea is we saw hmm. these retards fail a better coach than we're likely going to be able to bring in. We already <laughs> saw it. And then they failed Graham Potter. All right? So whoever's yeah. going to come in next, these guys – Need to go somewhere else. Go. I don't care if we're left with 10 players as a starting point for a squad next season. I don't care if we have to pull people out of the Matthew Harding lower to be on the bench to make up the numbers. Hey, Timo, yeah. it's your time, man. Yeah. 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 Guys, not, not, not Timo. Out of here. Leave guy, you know. my club, most of you. If you, are, if you are a Chelsea player and you're thinking, should I leave? If you've ever thought to leave, basically yeah. – all of you. If all of them left, I wouldn't even cry. And we just had to start over from zero. I wouldn't even cry. I, I hear that. I get. It. I've seen your team. I fully understand that. I just, I've just had enough. I I've just it. had enough. I, I, like, I, is there some good players in there? Yeah, but like, we lost Hazard and we were all right. None of you were as good as Hazard. Like, we'll be That's all right. True. You know. So like, yeah. just just enough. So I don't even care about. I'm not one of those who thinks if we get a coach, everything's going to be amazing. It's going to be way better than what the fuck we just had. Don't get me wrong. But these guys are still retarded. All right? And, like, that is what I don't want us to get distracted from. Don't lose Listen. sight of this. These criminals are still there. Huh? Fez, so, um, it is what you, it is. You lot continue to bump up the likes. The members only mode is on. Obviously, get any final questions in as well. Um, check I've, out the upcoming live stream um, schedule. Right, Flawless, right. what's, your, what's your score prediction for Wednesday against Brentford? Ah, T. Uh. Woo! <sighs> Draw. I'm gonna say draw. <laughs> I'm gonna say draw. You fucking laughing at times, I reckon draw. Is Casper injured or is he suspended? Yeah, he's suspended. He's suspended oh. for this. I'm just gonna I'm say going, draw. I'm going two one. I don't give a fuck. I, shit as might we might be, bro. At yeah, OT, I, I don't know what happens. These fuckers just, just turn up. 
Nah, it, it's because of the, it is like we run jokes and banter by it. When your team is, when your team like has some form of quality, which we do, and then the place is rocking, which it has been like double A spoke about this, Saeed spoke about it. I'm debating, I might try and go to this game. I don't know though. I might go, I might not. I'm really debating it strongly. Debating I, don't, it. I don't think you want to go. I don't know if I want to go see a McTominay Fred Pivot with Bruno. In the uh, like, I you'd don't rather go I see Casemiro. See yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking about. But I've not been yeah, to a game all season. And I do, I'm not going to lie. I just want to go see the man in a minute. Yeah, I've not yeah, seen yeah, a lot of the man but... for a long time. I might just use it for a link up, man. I might. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. And yeah, plus, the tickets are cheap. Just, just out of a day out from this, what the yeah, man, just a night out. Literally, I'm just on a vibes thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I've not seen some of the man in a long time, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm like, yo, let me just go. Hey, it's it's the game in the evening, you know, to, to, yeah, yeah, it's the evening game. It's a 7 45 oh. kick. Oh, that's what it is. I might go, I might not. I'm debating it. I don't know, um, I don't know. But, side note, yeah, I reckon, yeah, yeah, yeah probably, yeah, probably a draw still. What are you saying, Tyler? I said 2 1. The 2 1. All right, cool, Eddie. What are you saying? I followed the Brody Tarza 2 1. 2 1, Fez. Fez. Yep. Uh, hey, it's going, Tony gets one else. goal. We're getting to 18. We're getting closer, man. We, we hey, chase my guy, I haven't told. Nah, man, he just knows he where he's, he's, he's going next season, man. It's like, yo, this is hey, your home. Fuzz, you know I'm saying? Run through That's the questions. Up. When you're done, I want to finish answer Jazz's question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. Right, which cool. question? I'll get to it. I'll get to it. The, oh, the original one by United. Oh yeah, yes, it is. and to Camille, who oh, said this, he says, "Flawless." I saw Rant um, and ten, and we was talking about De Gea as a backup goalkeeper. Does it really matter if a goalkeeper can play out from the back? Because when Czech helped us win our first Champions League, all that mattered was making a save. Yeah, but it's a different era. It's modern day. You know what I'm saying? Times change. The same way back then, you could just have a striker who just scored goals. That don't exist now. As a striker, do you have to score goals? Yes, but you also have to offer so much more as well. It's about being, it's about that's how the game's gone. And De, Gea's, De Gea's quality. And also, stupid. respectfully, De Gea is not Petr Cech. No, we also had Petr Drogba, Petr. who Cech had hit the ball to. Yep, that too. So, like, it's like, there's nothing wrong with being direct. The problem is, a lot of these strikers nowadays aren't, like, the level of hold-up play as Drogba. Yeah, because he wanted the best ever. You're dealing mm-hmm. with, like, a different type. So, it's about retaining the ball, whether it's short passes or long passes, you know? Percentages of like retention increase the shorter the distance is, so people tend for short passes because it's math. But yeah, like don't think we just hoofed it to nowhere. A lot of sometimes we did, but like Drogba, Drogba would be up there. Drogba was, was doing his part. If United had a Drogba, I don't think the Hayes feet would be as big a problem. No, nope. but then our attack wouldn't be as big a problem because of yeah, the Drogba. And... Like, you can like, say that for like most teams. They had a drug with yeah. a guy. Yeah, yeah probably. Facts. You have one of the best strikers yeah. you've ever seen in the Premier League. Yeah, we yeah, yeah, I, no, I would love like, to read your drug. We play at least five to six people who are some of the worst at keeping the ball on themselves. Oh yeah. Like that's the that's the other thing for me too. It's like yeah, you can play a pass, but what happens when the pass gets there and this guy fucking fumbles the ball? Like, what am I supposed to do with that? I'm like, yeah, I'm putting it out to Bruno, and Bruno will legit hoof it to the other team. I'm putting it out. I'm putting it out to who else? Will I, McTominay, and McTominay will pass to the coaches. He'll give a souvenir to the fans. Hey, man, hey, at, what's the record stopping today? Yeah, yeah, yeah Wet started, the but the thing is with yeah. Wet Horse, and it's like <laughs> it's what we said every every single time that we have to talk about him. He should not be starting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I heard that still. It's, well, it's, it's surely you can ping the ball long term, though. Like and no, but the, the thing is, he's six six. We didn't. We did <laughs> We did it. Bro, no, 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 no. Bro, bro, there was one yeah. incident. There, I, I even asked Fallis and Eddie. Did you see that, bro? Yeah. Someone crossed the ball. And he, he did jump. He just stood there. The no, there's a difference. There's a difference. But there's a difference between. I'm gonna clip that. I'm gonna clip that. He didn't jump. He just stood there, bro. I was no, like, no, what? there's a difference. That, but there's a difference between crossing the ball to somebody and just kick go, go kick. No, I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying the goal kicks like in terms of why we just didn't go direct. And even if he loses out, at bro, least he, if you lose he, the he, ball, it's deep it. into the what's it called? Yeah, even if you lose it though, you, they have it in their half rather than the two goals we conceded by trying to play out from the back. And people forget that. The yeah, no, no. I, I 100% agree that. with you on that aspect. I'm just saying, like, him in specific. Yeah, but we know that. the reason why I don't get onto him is because I know he's a squad Yeah, player. yeah, he's, he's a shit. So man, I don't man, get onto him. He's a squad Like, that's what he is. Like, yeah, he's a squad he's player. Good. At best, he should be. The fact that he's playing is so, the yeah, Victor's boy, Alanga's not. Because that's who we'll be playing. 
That's who'd be up front. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. That's his conversation. Hey, free, free, free a longer one. Yeah, oh, man, so you could take him at Chelsea. Yeah, man. Nah, nah, nah. You don't need, no, no, you don't need always wingers. Always hit like, hey, hey, he's a better right winger than Kante. You know what I'm saying? Play him out there. You know what I'm saying? He's a better left winger than Mudrick. Hey, he would have put that Mudrick chance. Hey, 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 you chased yeah. down Todd Bowley and said, thanks for your time, Todd. I want to know your Ooh. thoughts. You haven't said a word. Ooh. <laughs> mm. you, Potter. <laughs> thanks after, for your time, after, Todd. after you said that, Chelsea were Americanized. Hey, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I want to know your thoughts on what's, what's currently happening at Chelsea, mate. I'm not going to comment anyway. I don't care. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Let, me, let, let me get to this from ZFC as well. Who says flawless? He beat Barca in a PSG plus only conceded two goals in the Champions League this year. I do think he's been better this year, and the injuries killed him early on in the season. He didn't like the DOF, he wanted um, a DM. So he's talking about Nagelsmann at Bayern. I don't rate Barcelona, I'm not giving you no credit for that. We beat Barca, and I give our manager minimal to know, like, that's what you should be doing. I'm exactly. not giving you, I'm not giving you the credit to do what you should be doing. I told everybody before the Europa League playoff draw, if we draw Barca, we'll beat them. When we drew them, I said we should beat them. Before the game, the first leg, I said we should beat them. At halftime, I said the same shit. At full time, when it was 2-2, I said the same shit. I said the same shit before the home leg. You know what I'm saying? Even when we were 1-0 down and everyone was in the chat on the most smoke. You know what I'm saying? People have not seen since then. Oh, why? You know what I'm saying? Why, why did you think you was going to beat them? And then afterwards, it was crickets. I'm not giving him credit for that. In the Milan bang average, I stand by that. PSG, yeah, yeah. nah, I'm not really giving him credit. I'm not really giving him credit. Yeah, I'm not really giving him so As as the Bayern Munich manager, you should be beating those three teams this season. I'm not giving you credit for what you should be. Now, if you would have knocked out Manchester City, that's where I give you credit. If you would have knocked out Real Madrid in the semi final, okay, that's where I'd be like, cool. Like that's I'm not giving you credit for doing the look at the team he has. You are Bayern Munich oh, with bro, a quality I saw, side. I saw Musiala, Cancelo. Gnabry, we do, or, and many two two other guys coming off the bench from like not not a lot of teams can have the um, leverage and or this type of stuff in the back. Can I was we are about to end this right? I need to play something as well. It's not the cool. t- it's not the we believe in your Potter. Nah, nah, it's not that one. It's, it's another thing that I need to play before I forget it. One if, if 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 it's the same video as yesterday, just get out now. We'll try to beat Everton, and then we'll take the draw, and then we'll try and win the fucking Champions League. Yeah! Wait, wait, when did he say that? What day was that? I think there was an inter- there was literally international break. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, that yeah. No, that was the day before the draw. No, yeah. that was that was the yeah, that was the day before the draw. I don't Yeah, this, he said we we maybe gonna be we maybe get a draw against Everton. <laughs> it was yeah, it was a club Chelsea event, and and unfortunately, I wasn't I wasn't invited. Unfortunately, that's hey, hold yeah, I, know, I know, yeah, hold man. Hold the fact that <laughs> man said, Hold that, yeah. hold that man. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold that when, when I'm not a club Chelsea season ticket holder. You fool, man. I'm a hey, still- and what? Why, why are you telling me to hold that when I'm not literally <laughs> hold that? Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. So, so, hold that. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. So, why are you upset that you didn't get invited? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not getting upset. I'm not for thoughts on Chernobyl Werner. <laughs> hey, yo. hey, hey, but surfer, when I say there's a problem, yeah, hey man, Russia's yeah, yeah, man. Hey, Russia's bro, a Chelsea fan. Asian, yeah, a lot to do with Asian all lives matter, family. man. Asian all lives, lives the, matter. All the family rule, Todd. It's all what? good when it's in what the family. Werner was better than him. That's the funny part so far. Just because, hey man, it is what it is. Man, it's shit. Hey man, who could have. Who could have seen this coming, huh? If only. Hey, hey, Peter, man. Oh, I'm still the, laughing the, at the, the fact. The <laughs> Jess, when you when you said Mudrick shoots like a hole, bro, I watched that back. I died, yo. I died. Wait, when, oh. when was that? I said that yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> no, I, I watched Because I, I went like, to watch back the watch along. I was just. Because uh, there's a certain someone here in the chat that was on there. I wanted to, to see his tears, but. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> so I went to and he said, Mudrick shoots like a hole. Yo, I started dying. <laughs> Bro, I couldn't believe you shot like that. Like, the goalkeeper didn't even came out. There was no pressure. You know, you know the best part about yesterday? I got called into work last minute, and I was like, damn. That means I can't watch Chelsea. I'm definitely going. 
And so I turned on Bayern Dortmund. I turned on Bayern Dortmund at my desk at work. Oh man, I was watching oh, real man. football. I was happy. Crazy. Okay. And I forgot to mute the Premier League app, so it sent me notification. Goal. Chelsea nil, Villa one, Watkins eighteen. I left, and then I got up to do something. You know, I just got the other class started. Goal, Chelsea nil, McGinn, like Chelsea nil, Villa two, fifty six, John McGinn, and I was like, "Hmm, we're actually gonna lose." And then I was like, "Oh wait, if Chelsea score, because I said two one Villa in our Chelsea group chat, because if you win the score predictions league, you get a retro kit at the end of the season." So I was like, "Oh, if we get a consolation goal for nothing." Then we still lose, so I'm eating, and I get points in our in our um, predictions table. And these fucking losers couldn't even score. I wasn't mad that we lost. I was pissed yeah. that we didn't. I was <laughs> so pissed. Consolation. <laughs> oh, I was one point clear. I would have been. I would have been three points clear. Oh my god! Because everybody was like, "Oh, we're gonna." Because you know how it is. After international break, you conveniently forget that your team is garbage. Yeah, 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 so yeah. Happened twice. Happened twice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, I can't wait. Oh, people are dropping comps. I was seeing Zhao Day again. Zhao, hey, hey, I don't like the way you're saying on Zhao Day. I like Zhao Day. Peter, don't do that, man. Peter, you know what the funny thing is? Don't do that, man. The trend. You, you guys are about to enter the trenches. Your, your fixtures oh, that are coming up. Oh, I know. We've know, been brother. saying this. Remember how we've been saying this? Yes. But people quoted six, six game winning streaks in this. In this patch? Oh, yeah. Oh, for Tori. Don't think oh, we forgot about that one. Oh, 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 man. Oh, oh, man. This guy predicted oh, six game win streaks. Real uncomfortable conversations. Ooh. Yeah, 10 wins all season. And three of them were the, under the manager that we binned on September 7th. <laughs> so it is what it is, man. <laughs> oh, fuck. We've had seven oh. wins in seven months. You guys know this? And most of them are within the last month. That's the crazy thing. Yeah, that's the. Hey, 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 but Peter, years not months. Years not months, <laughs> mate. Hey, David Ornstein. David Ornstein. Don't think I forgot about you dropping the years not hey, months. Ben, ben line. Jacobs. Doing hello, backtracking on the timeline today. Hey, Ben Jacobs as well. I just, hmm, hey. Ben Jacobs. Hey. Uh, and no also action. CFC then... monster. Oh, attackers get attacked now. Monster <laughs> CFC. Monst- I didn't forget. I almost forgot about Monster CFC. Shout out, Mo- hey. shout out Monster, man. Look, shout out Monster, but Monster, shout I need to talk to you about these attacking players and the sustained attacking football and these patterns of play. I need to talk to you because patterns of play and t- emotional intelligence, man, is gone. I saw Monster on the timeline caping for Pochettino. That's, wow. hmm, it, it's interesting. It's funny. The thing is, the thing I don't respect about our fan base specifically is – they didn't even have the guns to stick by their guy for that long. Pressure. Mm, 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 you can mm, say what you want. Tuchel's gone. Get over it, Peter. You know what? No, nigga, because we suck. I don't want to. You do so. Yeah, yeah. You lot do so. We suck. If we didn't suck, yeah. if if we didn't suck, I wouldn't care this much. Like you, you guys suck. have me watching Bayern as protest. Hey, you suck as well, Flores. Oh, hey, 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 hey. We suck, but at least we've had some form of success. Like, I don't even, you know I don't saying? even rate oh, all yeah. these like pseudo intellectuals who are like, oh, Grand Potter, <laughs> great idea, like. Fucking bozos decided to start hopping out the trenches because we lost to Southampton. Mm. Oh, I don't believe in him anymore. Oh, because two wins in 13 wasn't bad enough. But yeah, two that's wins crazy. in 14. Oh, hey, God. Yeah, that's, 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 uh, get, yes, that's Lewis. What are you saying, family? You good? Yeah, I'm all good, bro. Love hey, Lewis. Or independent Lewis. thing. Lewis, what about backing GP, mate? What happened? Ah, uh, he's dead. No, GP, oh, that's my doctor, man. <laughs> mm. Hey, yeah, hey, respect, like respect to, to our fallen game. soldiers. Let's have a moment Lewis. of silence for Hancho. Lewis, do like, you still have the Chelsea Fulham no. preview Fuck up? No. <laughs> I still have the what? The Chelsea Fulham, the home match. You saw the preview yeah, up bro. on the channel? Yeah, right. I stand. I'm going to go back. I'm going to clip the part where I said, guys, all this optimism is great, but we're still shit. And I'm going to send it to you, and I want you to tweet it. Because <laughs> the, the fury in the chat for me that day, I was on my ones fighting everybody yeah, on the yeah, Lewis. Send team. it to me, I'll tweet it too. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, it's and you guys. I trust me. I don't like that we suck. Like I, I like it for content because it's funny, but like it's I don't actually like it. Entertainment. It's entertaining. I wish it's we were better. I wish we were better, but like <laughs> at least not only error was only six months. Yeah, like that's the best. <laughs> or so you think. Is. Oh, that's true. That's true. They could hire some random farmer, and then we could be back here in a year. No, yeah, let's, let's hope yeah. so, man. Let's hope so. There's no assumption yeah, yeah. it gets much better. Yeah, oh, that, man, especially with the players at hand. 
Especially like, with the players that get better. Because, like, how can, like, three wins in 21 or whatever is hilarious. Yeah, like, that was terrible. I still can't believe that that happened. Oh, like, what? Oh, like, what? Uh, I, I don't know. Like, this, we are oh, a, whole, a whole national, a whole are, fucking are, week of, one in the week break of football. And then you decide to, this, they said, you know what? They didn't say Southampton or Tottenham that never beats um, a Chelsea or all the other games. They said, you know what? The chore. No, no. Uh, I lost to Aston Villa at home. That was enough. I want yeah, to that's, that's what only one team behind them. I want because to they why. gave him another two weeks. I want to know and why. Then they again. The fans in the ground are chanting <laughs> against him. Our fans have been chanting against Graham Potter since we were four 0 down at the Etihad. That was like two months ago. That was crazy. Our fans have been revolting that's very for like dis- two that's, months. that's very disrespectful. Can I be well, honest about the fans? They have, in the grounds, they haven't really revolted. Yeah. Like, They're always to... revolting our fans. They've no, no, to be... <laughs> yeah, top of the list. You like, like, compare no, it to Sarri no, in 1819, <laughs> they've barely said a word. Like, genuinely, okay. there's ne- there's no been, we want Potter out. There's be- there was like I a mean, little, you don't know what you're doing at 2-0 against Villa. Other than that, they've said nothing. Just so that, that makes it even more, like, I want to, I, again, I don't disagree with the decision. I don't know just, why. I'm with you on that. I, I'm so I confused. How did yeah. we get here? Why is Bruno, what's his name, our interim manager? Bruno like, Salto. Super hey, Bruno. Not, not even one ounce of hair on his head. He might be the one. Oh, we got a ball man. You know, you're, right. you're right. You're right. He might be cooking something. Hey, a board, a board of versus United. <laughs> so let's just, let me just, let me just throw this out there, right? <laughs> we go on a mad run under Bruno, right? Like seven. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know where you're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Seven wins in ten. Do they do the Ole thing? Yep. Of course they do. Yep. Behave. Oh, behave. Yeah. Oh, 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 is that real? I, I was only no, 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 like, like a first time already on the time. Like, if, your man- if the manager, whoever you lot get because of where you've been, goals on an absolute mazer, they will hire him because you lot will call for it. 100%. Without doubt. Oh, man. Like, crazy. Not that, I, not that I think we're going to get a new manager bounce because I just don't believe these guys could throw a rock in the ocean if they were standing on the sand. But, like, just if we did, right? Like, I kind of – I've been rooting for chaos all year. So, if you're like, Peter, why do you seem like you're enjoying this? Because you guys – I cried all my tears back in September. It is what it is. But I'm genuinely curious now because I wanted to see how bad it could get. And I'm still annoyed that they sacked Potter because I feel like it could have got worse and it would have been funny. But like, I want to see what happens now if we just start winning immediately. They'll give him, give him the contract. Really if you're chaos, you can get Conte. Hey, no, no Conte one's... sued the club. I, it's, it's probably some sort of legal shit. Like, he probably can't work here again. The, the funny thing is, yeah, I saw, I saw um, fan counts already of the <laughs> Bruno Salter guy on my timeline <laughs> with like with the baby songs and trucks. So, like, I was like, yo, how fast are you guys? Like, <laughs> I, I even had to search up who that guy is. Uh, Bro, our fan, our fan base loves comps, man. They love comps. Oh, Jaude, man. I do like Jaude. Bro. I fuck with I fuck with Jaude. You know what I'm saying? Jaude. You hate uh, Jaude's Jaude. fire. Jaude's been fired. Yo, after <laughs> after we lost to Villa, after Peter. we lost to Villa, an hour and hour after, I saw a three minute comp on Jao Felix after we lost two nil <laughs> to Villa, and I was like, I don't want to see this shit. We just hey, lost hey, to hey, Villa. Hey, 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 Victor, Victor, man. Victor, 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 hold that, fam, hold that. You know hey, show, man. Hey, Peter, hey, show, man. would you would you sign him on a permanent? This summer, fuck no! <laughs> fuck, did you not hear me when I said I would ask the whole squad? Oh, no. what? I, I was curious, curious, just curious. Fuck no! Nah, I'd keep at that. I want to see more Jow Day. Casually FC. Mm-hmm. You shout out. Was worldwide chess. Go subscribe to Casually FC. One of the streams I did was surfing. Oh, it's not about you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. No. I, I asked. <laughs> I was <laughs> asked how many players I would keep in the squad. Douche. And I I came up with ten out of like thirty three names. And I'll he be honest, being, I agree. He was being lenient. I just mentioned six. Yeah, I'll be honest. If it was really up to me, and I know I wasn't gonna get mega pushback, I would have trimmed it to like four. Yeah, you should have. You should have. But like me saying, like they, they were they they acted as if I killed somebody by saying I'd sell Mudrick, and then he turns around and he does that. It's time to settle in, man. That's what it is. You know that. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, man, he used to turn oh, on his back and go to the Look at this guy, yo. Why are you drinking Benelli, man? in his brain that makes him miss 1v1. Bro, it's, it's free, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. I don't know, like, hey, see, like, uh, gonna, mission 1v1s, that's not... not bro, see? Peter, see, this is this is why I was, when, beginning of the season, right, when I was getting onto Sancho and Eddie was crucifying me, bro. 
crucifying me. It. I was like, bro, start, 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 start Garnacho because, bro, I know, I love Sancho, right? I've been doing the whole Jaden Tencho. He, he said, start bro. fucking Garnacho. Bro, bro, bro yeah, but he's think, been, I, he's, I don't think he's been done answer, better. Be bro, he's yeah, been doing better though. Like, that's the thing. Like we're trying to salvage something from the season, Listen, I'll start right? Along, I think it's, a- no, like, like, no, it's, a it's not a question of we're not trying to salvage anything. We are having well, we've had a successful season. That's yeah, not, but, that's not but, loose but side. That's what I was saying. Like just because just because there's like oh our replacement for Bruno is I don't know Fred right, do or something else. Do yourself a favor. Do yourself that, a favor. That's that's why on. I was saying it, bro. Don't mention my name again. Just do yourself a favor. Don't <laughs> see, see, see now, now you're going crazy. <laughs> do yourself you're going a favor. Crazy. Don't mention my name again. Continue. Just don't I, mention I, my you know name what? again. I, I, Eddie, I, I get it. Again, as I was I saying, don't mention his I, name again. He said don't you, mention you, name, you guys, you, 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 you said that you guys are having make your point. Keep me out that fuck shit. Don't put you. Don't put my name in it. Keep going. Yeah, keep right. my name, name. Keep my name. name. Oh, you, you, the name. <laughs> you you said you said Thank folks, you that you had to had a had to come to Jesus about him, right, bro? I had that back in September, October. I I bro, I saw that Chelsea game. I was like, bro, what's going on? You what don't you need. About? About, oh, Sanjay, I've not had the come to yeah. Jesus talk. I said the talk about having the come to Jesus talk was bro, uncomfortable. Bro, bro, when when, when, when so you don't like, you know how he Peter just said. You don't need like all this system and this to make a one v one. You don't need that just to complete a short pass, bro. What I was seeing was crazy. <laughs> what I was seeing it was crazy. So I and agree. then, bro, like, like, what, what's going on? No, I agree. And 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 then, no, and it. then, if you if you if you talk about it, right? If you criticize that, then you get berated by the fan base. Like in yeah. the chat, you go, you get, you go, people. Some go crazy. people, hey, hey, people know it's it's proper split. On him, bro. It's 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 like it's, it, on him. it's not like oh, I want him to do bad. I'm a United fan. He's of one of the more expensive players. I like him. I want him to do well. But if you don't call out what it, it is, what it is, then then the what are we doing here, bro? Then we're being two faced, right? Because if 100%. if someone else does some 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 fuck shit, yeah. then we we criticize that. But also, right? as well, is that with you because of how you said certain things in the past, yo, you just the just the right message, wrong messenger. People ain't trying to hear that from you. That's fair enough. That's fair so enough. So you can't complain about I, I, some of the some of the pushback no, no, no. that you get, which I try no, and help no, no. you avoid, that, is your that, fault because you go into that agenda that, mode and that's on you. you. So. That's that's yeah. fair enough. But yeah, I'm just saying, like I'm at least that, happy yeah. that we're at that. So point. That's that's all I'm saying. Yo. Of course it's team. Oh my god. You are guessing it. You know what I'm saying? Wait, it's always the first. It's always him. F in my mind. I just do it. I just went to to Bruno Fernandez. The only thing I'll say, this guy played it. Well, that's your cup, man. Respect him. 16 times lost possession and a 73% pass accuracy. Bro. Allah. Yeah, he had more misplaced. Oh, he, had, he had more misplaced passes than he completed successful. Hey, 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 hey. For oh, but again, that's a whole that's, keys, a whole com- that's a whole conversation our fan base legit does not want to have, which I don't understand. I don't get. And that. and, and I, I I've no, I've I want Tatis this guy. He is. I I I know yeah, he's probably yeah. watching. He's not. He, he nah, can't show his face in this chat. Chris Ryan. He's a Niners fan as well. I know you because you've been riding out hard for this guy. Where are you at? Balls. Where are you at, bro? Where are you at? Because I ain't seen this guy since he missed that one-on-one against Barcelona in the first minute at OT. I ain't seen that guy since. You might be right. I'm trying to remember. You probably yeah, might, like, no, right. These people, yo, I'm tired of this. But that's and what then... happens, though, man. Like, we oh. see fans, people do that in chats, like here, like whether it's like a player or their team. Like, when a player does bad that they like, disappear. When a team does bad... They're, they're not here. It's like Liverpool fans, after they clapped us, Liverpool fans came out of every out of nowhere. And then when they lost to hey. Bournemouth, disappeared. Hey, no, 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 it's not. Mm. Again, Bucks. Mm. Ray from, Millie, from, where you from, at? Ray Millie, after, after, Marcel, after they got cut at? by Real Madrid the first time, where that, you at? that show with me and Saint, it was me and Saint. And then Marcel eventually showed up like an hour and a half in. You know hey, what I'm saying? You know and what, then after they beat us, full of Liverpool fans from the start. Hey, to I be fair, respectful. after the after they lost to Bournemouth, I haven't really seen a lot of Liverpool fans talking anymore about the assistant manager. A lot of talk is not against Klopp. Maybe they had to come to mm. Jesus talk now about Klopp. Like I've seen oh. a lot of more energy towards Klopp now. Like where I feel like people are starting to. We just kind of weird that they were doing this whole assistant manager thing. Like to begin with, like 
they start to realize that yo club you might be just done you know as a, at the he's moment done, the but they don't want to have the talk man he's done at the top level at liverpool i called him a spicy bro. banger for a reason he's yeah. finished at yeah. the top bro. level at liverpool. when it comes you, to that when it comes to that dude when it comes to clock when it comes to clock it's the biggest like victim mentality i've ever seen from a supposedly big club yep Mm -hmm. seriously like he gets away with murder and then everybody every time somebody calls him out on this fuck shit they're like how come how come you guys are so hard on Klopp if 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 Klopp did that he'd get killed for but these other managers do that bro he's a dweeb simply put he's corny and he's lost touch with what made him successful which is running players into the ground but I mean, you know, hey, what the, what the you know, we're just bullying Klopp at this point. Yeah. So I'm, Bro, if you if you take yeah, any cool. other manager in that situation, right, that went from competing <clears throat> for a quad to ninth and possibly even eleventh, he's what Chelsea? What four points behind Liverpool in eleventh? I don't even know, man. Yeah, it's four points. Four points. It's for if you go from that to that, bro. Any other manager is gonna get sacked. But just because it's Klopp and he's revived them from, you know, because he's he, because Liverpool had been shit for so long and he brought them success, any other manager gets sacked in that situation. Bro, we sacked Ollie when we were fourth. What? We were fourth, I think. I remember. I have no idea. Fourth either. or fifth. Bro, this guy is 11th? Or no, what is he? Ninth? Eighth, ninth. Yeah, they're four points off. They're four, four points, points off 10. 11th. Yeah, the four points of Chelsea, the three points of Tottenham. Points of like, let, let, let me see. Let me see. They're level Liverpool. points to Brentford, Fulham. Oh, I'm looking at it right now. Chelsea are eleventh. Chelsea are eleventh with thirty eight points. Liverpool are eighth with forty two points. Just four points behind. And and Chelsea have sacked two managers this season, and Liverpool so, only four yeah, points ahead of them. Four points. Third time charm of the Bruno Salta guy. And 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 all this. Hey, and now, Bruno and now, was winning number three, mate. Have you have you guys talked about Liverpool this this stream, by the way? No, I haven't done to it. No, no, oh, no. get to it, bro, bro. When I was oh, here, best defender in the world, best de- top five all time in the Prem, Van Disney. What now, bro? Okay, good question, <laughs> bro. Legit, and it's not like oh, bro, they were actually serious with this stuff. Mo Salah, he goes into the right wing position in the Prem all time. Bro, what what what's 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 all this now? They said King of Africa. Bro, yeah, yeah, they were comparing. They said he's that's the greatest African player football. of all time, better than Drogba or Eto. All of these guys, yo. <laughs> well, the nerve, the, the coach, fucking okay. nerve to call him that. T- uh, 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 Trent doing. Alexander, best right back of all time. <laughs> Brother can't defend. Bro, he's he's going on like a you know how like uh artists go on tour? This going just this dude is going on a tour just whoring himself out every every stadium in the Premier League, just getting stripped. It's crazy. He cannot I don't know how this we can put a defender as a best defender in a certain position that cannot defend. I, I it, it's 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 beyond me. And and all of that, all of that stems to the manager. All of that stems to that Mm -hmm. because he is putting those players out. You know that these players cannot do that thing, but you are persisting with that. It works certain times. Sometimes it's brilliant. Like when you saw against United, sometimes it works. But then sometimes, but then most of the time you're fucking shit. That's why you're eighth. We we've been we've been battered. What uh, there was a stat right in the against the top nine teams we've lost almost every single one of them, but About then we're five, still that nine or six or yeah, something like that, bro. But we're still that many points ahead of you, mm-hmm. and you have I all have these players, with, hey, and you have and you have this world class messiah manager, right? And mm-hmm. Ten Hag is just Eric Eric Gunnar Solskjaer, right? And and you're this shit. What a name! And you're this shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Th- th- that's that's the thing I don't get. But then now they want to hide away from these conversations. Now it's all FSG's fault. But then when we said Glazers, oh, but the Glazers spent this money. You guys fucking spend money. You spend money yeah. on Nunes. You spend money yeah. on Gakpo. You spend money yeah. on Carvalho. Mm-hmm. Who, who, what's the other guy? Callum Anderson or something? Uh, the, hey, Arthur, uh, the right Arthur guy? Mello. Arthur Mello. Arthur Mello. What, 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 what's was, that, How much right? was Carvalho? 
I think Car- Carvalho was not too expensive. I think he was 15 like, mil, but it's, was he 15 mil? Yeah, around that. And how time. much yeah. is Gap? And Gap was, I think, 35, 40. Okay. And cool. and, and the oh, thing is, right, it, it the fall off can't be that bad. 80 to 90 percent of that squad that competed for the quadruple last year is still there. They're what missing what Mane, Tiago Mane, yeah. for a majority of the season. Diaz was Diaz only got there in January last year. The Jota's still there. All these guys, bro. When 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 when, when Grizz is a Liverpool fan, I know Fallis knows him. He was like, oh, Liverpool had all these injuries. He said, yeah, we have Tiago injured, we have Diaz injured, and then he stopped. He's like, oh wait, that's it. The, fun, the funny thing is, yeah, the funny thing, the funny thing about that is, if you can actually look for our injury list, it's actually worse than we still yet ahead of them, and we are worst team too. It's 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 insane what these guys are getting away with. Like it's actually insane, but people don't speak on it because it's Liverpool. Liverpool are liked in the media and all this shit, mm-hmm. but bro. Because these guys are putting stinkers upon stinkers upon stinkers. They, they, they hail Kanate to this level. He's the next Varane, blah, blah, blah. Bro, the, the brother ain't all that. What you talking about? Trent Robertson. Where's... Because I want these people to keep the same energy. People, yeah, you call me whatever agenda. I keep the same energy. Call me agenda, whatever, bro. I, I keep it the same. Where are you guys at? Because I don't see none of these guys in the chat right now either. All these guys that the used chat. to be there. Of course they ain't going to be in the chat. Bro. Huh? Why? Nothing, bro. Not, not, not to discredit the ones who are, because there is a few who are. But yeah, a lot of people can't take their team being shit. That's just the chat. That's the um, hosts as well. That's panelists. You know I'm saying. You see of the certain channels and certain people on other channels not show up. 100%. And, and, and their defense is old, but in this, like, I heard, I would... You, I was watching Monster stream for a little bit, and then mm-hmm. you guys were talking, and then they got to the Liverpool section. He's like, yeah, but then there was a certain moment where there were Man City were there for the taken. Bro, the better losers, bro. They're just trying to take small victories away. When, yeah, that's when I think – and then remember with the Southampton, they lost to Bournemouth. We drew with Southampton. And Hussam went, yeah, oh, I know we lost to Bournemouth, <laughs> but Bournemouth are 19th. Southampton are twentieth, and many not agree yeah, with them. The better losers, bro. These mm-hmm. guys are, they're. I think these guys have the smallest mentality for the biggest club, I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Like First. I've never seen a big mm-hmm. club like that on that level have a mentality that shit. Because they have to mm-hmm. justify everything. Because bro, in the in so since Jurgen Klopp has gone to Liverpool, Chelsea have won the same amount of trophies as him. Yep. And they've gone through oh, like, what, three, three, four managers, mm-hmm. up coming to five now. Mm-hmm. Some some crazy shit like that. But then this guy gets per, like paraded like this, like he didn't spend eight hundred million in his time at Liverpool. Oh, we don't spend mm-hmm. it all. You spent eight hundred million at, since Klopp mm-hmm. has been there. There, there. there is there's no defending this whatsoever, and they're only looking for oh. But yeah, there was a time when Liverpool we had the better of you know him because it, and this certain situation and yeah blah blah blah, like Mons was mentioning that there was a time when we scored the goal that you were there for the taking, but he didn't mention the fact that before Liverpool scored, Man City could have scored three on them. They had three clear cut chances that their strikers missed. Like, what are we talking about here? Where's the edge? Th- th- that's that's all that's all I'm saying because before you continue, these guys yo, have Joseph, the chest. Yeah, go on, go on, carry on, carry on. Carry on. No, 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 nah, no, go, nah. go on. I was gonna say to Joseph, the show with me and Saint every Tuesday, midnight to UK time. It's on the playlist, it's on the playlist. Go on, carry on. Yeah, yeah, big it's up, on big the schedule. Up sorry, it's on the schedule, it's on the schedule. So you can check out all the shows are on the schedule, people. So you know, all the shows that are coming up, just go to the live stream screen. Go on, carry on, bro. But the, but that's the thing, though. But then these, these guys want to put them at. Come and face the smoke, but you, but, but you guys want to try and cook United for this, mm-hmm. bro. You who who did they lose to? Who was it? Man City, right? They got yeah. absolutely bopped, absolutely mm-hmm. cooked. You know what? You know what that result reminded me of? It was like the result that remember at OT last year what what City done to us. It was yeah. only two 0 but that it was a training session, bro. Yeah, 100%. it was an absolute training session, mm-hmm. and and. 
like they and then they got one consolation goal that Salah got, and oh oh my god, Salah's this, Salah's that. And I don't even blame Mo Salah too much this season. How is Jurgen Klopp putting his best goal scorer, arguably one of the best goal scorers we've seen in the Prem, right? Mo Salah. He's put he's converting him and taking him as far away from the goal as possible and converting him into a touchline winger. What kind of taxes tactics is that? Can someone please let me know? And try to feed balls for Darwin Nunes. And I used to get on to Nunes a lot. And I think I still think he's shit. But I don't think he's the biggest problem there. But he's yeah. trying to put they're trying to put in crosses for Nunes who can't finish. That's his worst attribute. And you're tra- taking your best score goal scorer away from the goal. How yeah. how does that make any sense? But mad? let's say but let's say this, right? Let's say Liverpool go, even go ahead in this summer and buy Jude Bellingham, buy Kone, Ogarte, all these midfielders. Mount. They want. Mount. You, you know who's going to start Liverpool next season if Klopp is still there? You know who the starting midfielder is going to be? Henderson and Milner. Henderson, Fabinho, Thiago. Because hmm. Jurgen Klopp, what history tells us, is loyal to his players. Mm-hmm. To to a fault, that's the thing. That's his biggest downfall. He said he didn't want a midfielder in the summer. And bro, it's it's it doesn't make no sense whatsoever. I don't get it. But then this guy this guy would be paraded like that. When you're getting destroyed, you're getting bopped by everyone, and then they're gonna take that seven nil. Yeah, it's awful. It's awful. It's an awful result. But what did that do for you in the grand scheme of things? Nothing. Fair. You still lost to Bournemouth. 1-0. Mm-hmm. City bopped you off the park. It was 4-1 and they took their foot no, off the gas. They could... I think they've won a game since. Let's see. Let's see. Have they? Let's see. Let's I see. I think Let's so. See. No, they have not. Yeah. Is it just those two games, yeah? Yeah, they've lo- they lost to Bournemouth. 1-0. Mm-hmm. They lost to Madrid. 1-0. And they got bopped by City. Mm-hmm. Then they play Chelsea next. We're going to get the new manager bounce. And then they play Arsenal next. What 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 is what did that do for you? Yes. But anyways, we're gonna go yeah, go on go on finish last. Part no, no that, that that that's all. That's it. That's it. Uh, it is what it is, man. But you know, right. these guys can't keep the same energy. It, th- that's all it is. Seven. Hey, big up, Sefo. Twenty years from now. Hey, man, Raymond, yeah, you no, hide no. in the chat all the time. It is what big it up, is. Big up, bro. Yeah, yeah, big up. Yeah, every time. Yeah, Mount also no. mentions it, to be fair. We were we were better than Villa throughout the 25th minutes to the 45th minute. So it was an unlucky defeat. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like 7 0 will be talked around 20 years from now, but okay. I want to know what tro- how many trophies we've won in them 20 years from now. That's what I'm more concerned about. <laughs> That's my concern. I don't concern. This is just me personally. I've said it before. Individual results, I'm not fussed about. Seven years, we'll be talking about 30 years from now, 30 years from now, four years yeah, from now. Yeah, and then, and then you'll as, win only another league I, title, I, even I, even that if, in those 30 years. As, as long as I'm on the planet, I'll just be like, yo, what what did we, what trophies did we win? That's all I care about. That's just me personally. And I'm trophy bound. You know what I'm saying? I'm not hearing about, I don't care about no individual games. I've seen Manchester United buy every single one of our rivals. Seen us by every single one of our rivals by a large score, like not seven, but I've seen fours and fives. I've seen eight against Arsenal. I'll talk about that eight two against Arsenal. Don't discuss it. I'm saying we bought we bought Liverpool by four. You know what I'm saying? We bought Chelsea by four before. I'm saying oh, we no, bought City. I'm saying what do you, I don't care about Ray that. Miller, you said facts versus opinions. It will be talked out about 30 years from now. What what proof is that? That if that's gonna happen. That's also an opinion. Not even the proof. No, 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 even if it is, it will be talked about for bro, them. But like, what does it? What do you get for that? It it doesn't matter, bro. It that doesn't I agree matter. With. That's a fact. That's a fact. Legit. Who cares? Yeah, yeah, you now, did it. You? Like, oh. bro, no one cares. Legit. Oh. That's it. It's the game is about winning. You know what's crazy is they packed us five trophies, and they packed us five, and people don't discuss that now. But well, that was two years ago, wasn't it? Bro, legit. No, it's last year. Shit, was it last year? Yeah, sure. Yes. Was last year. Yeah, I raised that that whole ra- that whole thing from my memory. Hey, but hey, J- Tottenham beat us six one two years ago. Huh? That was two years ago. Mm-hmm. Did that? Does anyone talk about that anymore? No. L- L- Vill- Villa Villa beat Liverpool seven two. Does anyone mm-hmm. talk about that? No. Mm-hmm. No one cares. What are we discussing right now? Jurgen Klopp. What's in the now? 
What's got? Yeah, it's, hey. all, it's all empty stuff, yeah. Hey, I agree, I agree. You, you know them old days? They're the old days, brother. They're the old days. But, we we in the now. No one cares about what happened in the past. Like two, three good. years ago, bro. Legit. It's all about what did you? It's all about what did you win that season? Yeah. If what have you done remember. for me lately? What have mm-hmm. you done for mm-hmm. me lately? Rashford was absolutely dog shit last year, but people are calling him the best ref, uh, left winger in the world, best player in the world. Why? Because he's good now. Mm-hmm. No one cares about what happened last year, and this guy's talking about thirty mm-hmm. years, bro. It, pe- people have yeah. short memories, man. Legit, like <laughs> no one again. Cares. Everyone's ever again. Everyone's different in it. Like I said, I focus on trophies. That's me. That's how I remember. I've seen Manchester United win everything multiple times. I barely remember games, like individual. Barely remember like the certain moments. Of course, you remember for obvious reasons. Like if it's the goal that clinched you a league title, or a goal that won you a cup, or infamous goal in the semi final. But um, outside of that, nah, I've seen us win. Nine league titles, I think. Ten league titles. I have to actually double check the years. Well, you, but you know the thing is, well, I just, so when, that means when, what? That's what? That's thirty-eight games a season. That's like three hundred and eighty games. I remember bro, when when your club bro. is not successful, that's you have to bring up score lines like that to justify yeah, it. That's yeah, the yeah, thing. Yeah. Th- that yeah. that's legit. It what like when when we were shit. But then uh, under Oli, but then Oli had a good record against Pep. That's all we used to bring up against them. Oh, we used to beat you every year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what people see. That, that's, that's what you do when you're crap. Yeah, that's, that's what you do when you're shit. Point, point taken. That, that's that's it. But yeah. that that just shows where you're at, and that yeah. shows a small mentality. Facts. And and it, it was it was the fans on Twitter who hadn't seen us win nothing. Mm. It's those people. And that and that and and then and then see this is what Arsenal fans do, because they haven't won so trophies for so long. And then oh my god, oh you can't say this to us. Oh you can't treat us like that. Yeah, welcome to being a big club again. Yeah. Welcome to welcome to winning stuff. When you when you when you lose, you're gonna get crucified, and when you win, you're gonna get crucified because that people don't too. like you. People 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 want to be where you're at, mm-hmm. and to get there, they're gonna crucify you. They're not going to give you credit. That's what being a big club is. Bro, we were getting Thanks. shit and we were getting smoke and, and people were comparing like Pires to Prime CR7 because Arsenal fans didn't have anything else. People were doing all of that. Thanks. The, Thanks. They were comparing Alexis Sanchez to Ronaldo when he was here mm-hmm. before you know he came back again because that's Thanks. the only thing that they could fall back on because Thanks. you're not successful. But we don't need to say anything because we know everyone knows, and th- and that's what you guys are gonna be. And they're and then they're saying, and then you've seen Hussam mentioned as well. And I know you have, and I know I have because I watched the show. Oh, we're gonna go back to competing next year. On what basis? This squad There's needs no a basis. massive overhaul, mm-hmm. and they think the FSG, who have been notoriously stingy and not spending. Certainly, a, re- a revelation is going to come, and this summer they're going to change their ways. Thanks. Knock, knock, people. Here's here's a United fan with over 20 years of experience from the Glazers. It ain't going to change. Habits don't change overnight. Thanks. It's very gradual. Mm-hmm. And, and they think that bringing in Jude Bellingham is going to change all of this. Bro, Jude Bellingham is a final third player. Liverpool... His biggest issue is not in the final third. It's in the first two thirds. That's where you guys are shit. Jude Bellingham's best attributes is what? That final ball. His shooting is this. His ball carry. That's in the final third into the box. Those late runs into the box. It's He's 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 not a first two thirds player like that. They think he's Steven Gerrard. He's not. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. Like, and then people think he, it'll just solve all of that. And people think they're going to get Jude Bellingham, 150 million. He's being quoted at. Mudrick's going for 100 million. Anthony's going for 90 million and all this. And people think Jude Bellingham, who actually has all this pedigree, plus he's English, plus he's 19 years old. And then they think it'll fix this all. And then they think they're going to go back to challenging next year because they have these inside sources. But these same inside sources said they were going to get two midfielders in January. They said they were going to get the Qataris. Oh, mm-hmm. but they're in talks about United. What happened there? Mm-hmm. There is no logic 
to back their opinions. Just yeah, thanks. I, I I don't understand it. Just hope. That's what it is. But we're gonna close out on that. Taz are cooking. Love to everyone who has locked in. You know what I'm saying? Big up to all the members of the channel as well. Um, obviously, one of the perks, the link for the membership is in the pin comment, people. One of the perks is I do shout you out during uh, Q&As, well, towards the end of Q&A. So big up, Victor. Tazra, of course. T, who was in there earlier. TJ Warren, who's here. Shane, Junior, Chris Ryan, Jez, who's a regular. Dennis the Great, Moped, Paul. Uh, Marcel is your boy. Thankful for life. Star Lord, Zayo, 44, WKD. Give it to Mikey, Nonchalant. Roderick Fall. The disabled team, Dan Levitt, Raymond GSM, Maji Alam, of course, Daniel, uh, Khalid, J Socials, Steve, Nick, Malcolm, Matro, OG Turbo Jesus, yes, um, <laughs> Uncle Justice, um, Timo, of course, Time to Shine, Surfer, Eddie, the lovely Sasha, Nelly, Scott Page, Neville B, and the guy, if he was in hospital on life support, I'd unplug it and flip the mattress. Ryan. So big up to everyone that's locked in. <laughs> Why? To everyone oh who has tuned in. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Yeah, it's almost been three hours. It is large of all of you lot. Stephanie G, no, no, it's not a 24-hour stream. But we're going to get there. We've done nine hours. That's the record. But yeah, love to everyone that's locked in. Back today, Mandem United podcast. I'll be talking all things Manchester United, 4.30 p.m. And then 11.30 p.m. doing the most, which is the Premier League show. Oh, yeah, and on the Twitch as well, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. kickoff, I will be doing the Everton versus Tottenham Hotspur game. But this has been the Sarcasm City Sports Q&A live on the Sarcasm City TV YouTube. Big up for tuning.